I've had during that time. I I listened back on that call and I am disgusted with my behavior, especially because I invalidated your experience as a trans person with my own perspective. And it's 100% disgusting of me to do. And I do not stand by what I say. And I wholeheartedly apologize. Um, another thing I apologize for, though, I didn't have involvement in it. And I put a stop to it the moment I realized it was happening. I apologize on behalf of the SEC and the Combat Palace as a whole for that hashtag. It should not have happened. It is not something I would have wanted to happen. That's why I tried so what hard to hashtag? get other people to in the SEC. Not that I like want to drag something up that they're obviously sitting here and apologizing for, but it, I'm kind of curious to know what the hashtag was. Between us two, because I know that the moment other people get involved, they might take things over the line, and it's 100% over the line. Um, I have apologies. Um, the first one is from Avi, and he says, I legitimately apologize for going back on my word, especially out of pure spite. No matter how I feel about Gal as a person, that goes against my morals as a person, and I recognize it's a mistake I won't make again. I apologize for making jokes about someone's genitalia in such a crude way and in an admittedly immature fashion. The point I was trying to make with that comment is relevant if the comment itself crosses a variety of boundaries that should be obvious to someone who knew Gal and has common sense. I recognize that the way I went about defending Yoon after the call was very aggressive and I contributed to a group behavior that didn't take into account Gal's mental health. While I, while I never wanted them to kill themselves, the way it came off could be seen as that from the eyes of someone like Gal. So I apologize for participating in what was deemed harassment by Gal multiple times. Boonslayer says, I would like to apologize for starting the hashtag involving Galvanum's dead name on Twitter. At the time, to my knowledge, the scenario involving his lack of desire to acknowledge but to acknowledge that name was not the kind of issue it has later been stated to be. However, that is not an excuse. It was malicious and should not have been handled in that way regardless. So I'm more than willing to apologize for the way I handled myself in the immediate aftermath of my video on Galbanum. It was wrong and, an, and a misuse of my influence. Galbanum. Why do all these people go by so many different freaking names? Like, I, I have such a hard time keeping things straight. I'm surprised I remembered the cloud server was fucking Doodle Tones. No, I, I applaud myself on that one, even if nobody else does. Once Jay says, um, I'm going to be real, I genuinely forgot I ever joined in on that hashtag thing before Gal started bringing it up. In retrospect, I low key, I'm low key glad that they reminded me because, my God, that was fucking stupid of me to do. And I'm genuinely sorry for the distress I ended up causing. I should also apologize for how I worded myself in those tweets he keeps mentioning in that it came off like I wanted genuine ill will of them. That was not the case. That will never be the case. That's not the sort of person I am. But regardless of, my, of what my intentions were in that moment, I should not have done as I did. And I won't make it excuses for it. I'm sorry that I hurt you. Horace says, while Gal should not have involved himself in my situation, as that is none of my, his business, I still shouldn't have done the hashtag. I regret adding fuel to the fire and making it worse for him and how he feels. So to Gal, I am sorry. Daisy says, I do also want to apologize. Even if I wasn't aware that Gal considered the old username a dead name, I was still acting very vindictive about everything when I shouldn't have, and I'm sorry I caused them. This is probably the most I'm sorry as I've ever heard in any Senate, Lyo, tangential, even, like, stream. Like, I've got to say, I'm actually kind of, uh, floored to hear that many I'm sorry's. <laughs> whether whether they're actually meant or not I, i'm not sure yet um but yeah like uh this is i don't know it's weird it's weird hearing so many i'm sorry's in anything related to lio i'm distressed because of it if they want me to delete those tweets or anything i'm more than willing to do so as i definitely think that behavior was not okay and uh in regards to the comment section in boone's video uh under Boone's video on your on it feels like this person's bringing forward a lot of apologies not just for themselves but for like other people um I, I don't I don't know is it just because I, I I know they really okay so uh not really like surprising or shocking in any fucking way but um you know the the SCC or not SCC uh, the Senate and all them really, really, really did not like the FCK, uh, leaks, uh, Twitter account and a lot of, uh, Akumo's and Kumo's, uh, information. I shouldn't say a lot of it because they did a fair amount of, uh, you know, interviews and everything else on their own, uh, came from 
they got a bit of information that came from the FCK server, but it's also interesting because there's another uh, Twitter account that I found that um, the outsider, the outsider was actually ran by like, I want to say six people, if I remember right. Uh, and Akumo or Kumo or both of them may have been involved with that too. But I know it involved a couple different people. Uh, which is funny because there's also a YouTube channel called The Outsider, and that's where I found the full, uh, not Raven, it would have been, what is with all the R names? In hindsight, Rosa Ray Ramsey call. <laughs> so we got Rosa Raven Rin now. Maybe stay away from people with R names. Maybe that's, a, you know what? Be anti-pirate, no R's. Like, maybe that's the solution you got to go with there, Lyle. I, and by the way, I thought you were going into commentary you, or something. Um, Bruce would like to say I mainly want to apologize for how I came off in the argument. It doesn't matter if whatever I said was true. I had no excuse to, to act that vicious towards Gal. And it would have been more ideal to have a simple conversation instead of being a smarmy asshole during it. I wouldn't have known at the time, but I do feel like bringing up Autism Speaks the way I did was, quite frankly, very inappropriate. I have been avoiding making potentially low blows like that ever since to avoid a similar situation from happening. Um, Obviously, you do not have to accept or forgive any of us. Um, however, you were wronged, point blank, period, and you are old and are deserving of those. I, I don't think we're going to see much from uh, Peaches, Aaron, uh, whatever they may go by now, because I'm sure they're going to change away from Peaches and come back under a different name. I'm, I'm almost convinced of it. Um, I think they're going to probably stay away for about six months maybe maybe a year um but i i honestly think that they're going to probably start on like tumblr or deviant art you know one of the art community kind of like hangout areas and uh instead of like going away fully they're just going to create an account there under a completely different name slowly build up a following whether somebody's going to catch on that the art style is exactly the same or not That'll be interesting because I know like artists are, you know, you guys are pretty good at catching the details and stuff like that. But um, I think they're going to try and make a comeback. Whether they make the migration from that to back to YouTube or I don't know. Blue Sky is dead. I feel like that would have been probably maybe the most appropriate alt left uh, or, or leftist because I feel like you're going to want to go to a leftist like uh, community. Maybe they'll take up on doing. Twitter streaming. I don't know. I feel like it would be ballsy to try and come back to YouTube. That's how a lot of people get caught. I, I what is it? Lion Maker? Didn't he come back to YouTube a couple times? And uh, a couple other different people. Not saying, not saying that features is the p word that everybody fears. But uh, yeah, that's that's my head canon, my head theory. Anyway, those apologies. So I wanted to. That's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to have this call is so that you could get those directly. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know, know if I can accept some of them, but I appreciate that they decided to do that. I, I, I genuinely do. It's just I'm... They, do you want me to extend my apologies? I mean, if you want to. I don't want to make you do something you don't want to do. That's not what I want from this conversation. You don't have to tell me anything you think I want to hear. You just... Speak so far, your truth. I, would say I want you to be able to come out of this conversation, conversation even if you believe otherwise. it right in the middle of making a point or listening to me feeling like to some extent you were able to I have a feeling we're going to get all the way through this portion of the conversation we're going to hit a point where it's going to be someone's going to well this person is going to stop speaking Jun uh is going to be done and then it's just going to immediately go downhill but uh, I'll reserve that thought just get something off of your chest and like at least leave this a little lighter Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up. I'm, I'll, I'll get this out of the way with the truth and a clear head. I am very sorry for being a manipulative friend and an ex friend. This person is extremely like uh not not just nervous. I, I I'm trying to think of a better word to explain it, but they have the same like I don't know cadence to their voice, fear to their voice maybe, as uh, Rosa had with the Rosa call when we went through shit. So, like, I don't know. I don't remember the Raven call. I don't think Raven was this this upset going into the call, but this person, like, sounds like they're in genuine fear, which makes me concerned for them, for their, their fucking parents. Like, the fuck is their parents putting on oh, their father, specifically? 
putting them through and how is Lyle going to make the situation worse? I'm sorry, but I feel like that's Im is going to happen. I violated your boundaries in 2022 and 2021. I'm very sorry that I watched you and made you feel paranoid and made the response document. The 80 per the 80 page response document. That is some goddamn dark viper stuff. Jesus. 80 pages. Holy shit. They sound like kiwi. <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah. Uh <laughs> Oh man, I, I it goes on for about ninety minutes to two hours of this before Miku fan returns and it goes to shit. Okay, all right. So should we like speed it up? I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of like interested in Nicole because there's a lot going on here, but I don't want to like speed it up to the point that it's like unlistenable. Let's go to like one point two five. Let's see, let's see how bad it is. Was the biggest mistake I've made in my life. And I wish I never made it at all. It's that's not bad. We we miss a little tonality, but I can see her father trying to do the tough love thing and threaten to throw her out because these people are what caused her to go through the yeah yeah. I mean, I could understand that to some extent. I mean, he could just be trying to get her to disconnect from these people in the wrong way. Yeah, uh, pushing too much against it, you know, could make someone out of spite. Although I don't think she's doing it out of spite. I think she genuinely is in fear of losing her place to live. Um, and so I just realized my, there we go. Hey, look, my light's on. You guys can't see it, but I'm happier. It caused you pain. And I saw how pained you were because I remember where you talked about your homelessness. I don't remember it detail, but like you talked about how pained you were with me watching you because I was, I was scared. That's not an excuse. What do they mean by watching? Like, did this per was this person homeless and they were still doing content? Like, that kind of thing? Um, I, I'm just a little lost on, like, what they're talking about when they're like, oh, you were, I was watching you. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've got that song stuck in my head. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, I'll stop singing. You don't need any of that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm, now, I, now I'd have to, okay. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get really lucky. And, uh, Jun? Yeah, that's gonna... I knew there was gonna be a bunch of references. Uh, Jun. No, it's not. Would this be related? Let's do SCC. Uh, nope. Uh, what's commentary? Nope. I'm gonna try one more thing. Jun. Nope, that's cart. Art. Okay, is this... Is not the person. And some of this is extremely weird. I think I've just found the weirdest place on YouTube. Huh. Well, here's a rabbit hole for some other time. Anyway, back to the call. I, I don't know if I want to give an explanation because it may come, be an ex come across as an excuse. But I, I, in 2020, I, I was hurt. Not by you. Someone else. No, no, no. They, they know that won't be AI or Michael Jackson. It sounds like a small kitten being murdered. There's no way I'm going to get copyright strike for that. Two people. That's it. And I'm very, very badly. To the point where my, uh, it, it's screwed with my sanity. Uh, but, uh, coupled with my household, I, it, it may, it's not an excuse. Okay, can I just say, like, I don't know a lot. But I feel like somebody who's gone through and had a, a mental health crisis and has gone through and received mental health assistance let's put it that way because i don't keep wanting to call it like the mental ward i just feel like that's a little meh but they've they've received mental health assistance medically right and so i feel like she's still extremely like emotional for someone who is now out of that care like i don't feel like whoever they saw resolved some things here like um, whether it's just like, she's got that bad anxiety. Um, I don't, I don't know. Like, eh, eh. I was a manipulative little bitch. Uh, I have, I have apologized and I will apologize yet again for it. It was disgustingly overkill and I'm thankful I never released it. I am also extremely sorry that I said that I stopped caring for your mental health. I, I was, I was, I don't want, I don't know if you want to hear this, but I was legitimately lashing out. Because I felt cornered by Heaton. I, I, that's not an excuse. It was really fucked up. 
I, sorry, I should not be talking like this because I don't want my parents to hear me. If you need a moment I to take a breather, take a breather. It's okay. It's okay. Fuck. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. I, I'm, I'm legitimately sorry. I, I can see why, in retrospect, the blocking on my werewolf account can scare you, and I'm <laughs> no, very what? Am sorry I what? for that as well. I, I understand. <laughs> we can't just like brush over that. The fuck. <laughs> Oh shit! Is Mama Max hanging out in this crowd now? I mean, he is kind of artsy. The way he he did all them videos and everything. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you know, with the vacancy presented by Lyo, it, it could be an opportunity for Max. Um, who knows? And why you dislike me? And I have understood that for years. I should not have come back to the SEC. To be honest, I and honestly, at this point, I have no intentions to go near any sort of communities near you again for your safety and mine, mainly yours, for your mental health. I shouldn't have mess messaged your friends like Susie to pass messages when I could have just kept my mouth shut. I also don't remember mocking your suicidal tendencies. Susie, why does that name sound familiar? Isn't that, uh, oh God, is that Doodle Tones? Sorry, I, I had a Ricade involvement, my nose itched, but... I will not be jerking off on the stream, and I did not do any cocaine, so don't worry about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're better off position than I am right now. So you may have to show me, but if I did, that's extremely <laughs> fucked up of me, and I'm very sorry, because that's completely not okay. I I, I, I legitimately don't remember that, but please show me if, if, if it did happen. I, I That was horrible if I did that. Um, I'm not sure who told you that. Um, I have no recollection of you doing that either, and I have a pretty Wait. extensive. Who? Um, Lyo, do you want me to send the screenshots? Because I I was confused. I'll go through that when I talk to you. But if I did, I I'm I'm very sorry. I don't remember, and if you may need to show me, and I may need to remember because I legitimately don't remember doing that. I don't remember you doing that either. If like the only way that could have happened, it would have to have been in um. 2020 when I don't have a lot of screenshots for. For the most part, I have screenshots of everything onwards. Yeah, I... Again, if I did, that's extremely dis... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Crossover with <laughs> Camden. <laughs> oh man. And if uh, someone needed to... <laughs> Disgusting. I, I don't... It's not too... I, like, I don't mock people's suicidal tendencies, but... At the same token, I, I, it, it's in case I actually fucking did it, and I, I don't want to be like a liar and say that I didn't do it, unintentionally lie and say I, I didn't do it when I actually did. I'm not, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm stumbling over myself. Fine. I feel like she, yeah, uh, she, you're right, Jim. She's got that, that sense of like being freshly out, like not process things, not, not in the greatest of headspace, to be honest. And, like, it's weird, like, her, her tone changed there for a second when she spoke to Lyo. And I don't know if that was just, like, the cuts and the call, which it could be. You know, there could have been enough time that, like, they're like, hey, hold on, let me let me see if I can find it. Time went on while they went and found it. They calmed down a little bit. They say, hey, Lyo, and now we're back to being, like, stressed because of the situation. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> this is a, it's a, I'm not gonna lie, even though I'm prepared, it's, all, it's, a, it's a, we have not talked to each other in, in literal years. Uh, it's okay. I, I get so you. It, so it's understandable if you're anxious, especially with the not safe environment you're under. I not don't feel pressured to have to be a certain way. Okay. Thank you. I, if I was at my mom's house, I'd be much less jumpy, to be honest. But given that I, what just happened weeks ago. Okay. Okay. So I'm processing this a little more. So we've got a divided household. Uh, it sounds like the mom situation is a lot less. Uh, a lot less strenuous on her mentally uh, than the dad situation. And yeah, I know I know the dad situation is why they, they had to like delete everything. Like they had to delete like Twitter, Discord, a bunch of other stuff. So, okay. So this is just like, the dad's like probably fed the fuck up with this and like doesn't want to see his daughter maybe go through this shit again. Um, I think that's a, that's not an unreasonable take, you know, and now how he's dealing with it. Eh. I, I don't know, so it's hard for me to give a call. Oh, I, I don't feel very safe talking in a loud, in the normal manner that I do. I, I'm legitimately understand. I'm legitimately distressed because I, 
I don't, I don't want to go into detail, but a family member I trusted outed me as trans and outed my fruitcake leaks shit. And it, it was extremely ugly. That's all I'm going to say. I'm sorry, I have to go through that. That's not uh, okay at all. And I was aware that happened. Oh my God. I, I didn't know deep. Um, what did you say? I can't. Yeah, I hear. Uh, is that ner you, Neuro? Is that you? Yeah, I, I hear you. I um, hear your voice. Um, do you hear us? Um, uh, yeah, I don't hear you talking, Neuro. I don't. I, um, hello? <coughs> hello? Hello? Um, do you hear, really hear us? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Um, is Neuro trying to speak? Because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm holding my phone to my ear, and I'm... Uh, they, they are trying to speak. Okay. Because I, I just normally put things on speaker so I can look at what's said, being said, and I can't see what's being said. You're fine, you're fine. And it's also, it's, I hate to say, but all of my lights in my room are turned off. I have so all sound machines, including bathroom fans on to make it seem like I'm actually sick when I'm not. Mm. I'm just, well, I guess technically I'm probably going to feel sick after this, but I, I, but I, I don't like lying to my parents. I really don't, but it, fuck. Something I fell apologize over. for all undue stress this is causing you. I apologize. No, no, you're fine. You're, you're fine. I, I get you're trying to resolve everything. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm sorry if I assumed that this was a trap because I did. When I was first shown it, this, I, I immediately, my paranoid mind was terrified. I thought this was a trap. I, it, to, to scare me. Yeah, before, uh, before I was able to add on to, because Lyo had read out the message, uh, just as I was going to say, yeah, that's good. Can you also add that they that they're perf it's perfectly fine if they say no? He already sent the message, and then you responded. <laughs> uh, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Because I can't I really. Oh, I'm sorry. I can get closer to my mic. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, Lyo had read out the message to me, and I was like, yeah, that sounds fine. And then I was gonna write when I said, can you also add that if he doesn't want to, that's perfectly fine, and I understand. And as I was saying that, he said, okay, send. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there is a call was really bad, but I, I this has similar vibes to me. Okay, fair enough. I'm 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 so sorry if I assume that. I was just genuinely terrified because a lot of people don't like me. And Oh, lovely. I'm I'm so happy to know that I have such uh debauchery to look forward to. Yeah. I I, mean, I, I was scared. I was I guess, very scared. I mean I have notes and questions that I had drafted up. I can skip to one of them if you would like. Since we're um, on the topic. Um, sure. You, you so, can go ahead. What do you think my opinion of you is? Um, I think, um, from what I've known, and I have to elaborate on this, but, but like, I, I felt, have you heard of Vincent Skullman, right? And how he felt like he was forced into a false confession of some sort in regards to, um, something? I, I thought you thought I was trying to frame you as a predator. I, I never did. I just felt like I was pushed into a false confession by Heaton because she kept existing that I was and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was a piece of shit, yes, but I, I, I never, I eventually just gave up and went like, yeah, in the call, in the second one, which I think is why you yelled at me and cried, justifiably so. I was just, I, I felt so beat down that I felt like if I said, if I made an explanation, an actual explanation, like, said, no, I did not try to frame him as a predator. Like, it, it's still audio and it's still a confession, which is why I didn't really s protest it on my Fruitcake Leaks account, because it's still a confession, even though it's a false one. I, it's okay if you don't believe me, but I, 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 I if I remember correctly, I legitimately said I did, I did not, I am not calling you a predator. And I was doing it in case t crazy Twitter users were going to call you a predator. And that was my paranoid mind because t Twitter is crazy. I think I, I don't have the document with me because you told me to delete it. I, so I can't mem memorize it very much. It's been four years ago. Well, actually, oh, yeah. About, yeah. Um, well, uh, in our call, I, I, I wasn't yelling. What if you felt like I was yelling at you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you were crying and it sounded like yelling. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like getting emotional. It's, it's I no, bad. no, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. Now that you clarified it, I feel bad. I, that might be why some people thought I was lying because it sounded like you were yelling at me. Yeah, so you were just crying and loud, crying loudly. That's um, it. But um, I, I guess to bring it up, I'm guessing the call with you. You're, you're referring to the jar call. Is that where? It, um, yeah. Um, because that one's that one wasn't recorded. Uh, he didn't want to record it because like around that time your pet had passed away 
and she felt that would be too much yeah, so it's... there is no that i never thought you um tried to frame me as a predator um i didn't like that um you had compared me to um wait, yeah, an abuser choose. of mine an abuser of yeah. mine a prior yeah, yeah. abuser sorry for yeah. interrupting sorry sorry no no you're fine because i was about to ask I, I didn't i don't um full disclosure um just to put this aside um i'll talk about the video later but rest assured i have in the script and at from the jump if i was ever going to talk about the document i didn't want to disclose your personal information so a lot of the stuffs that you um expressed in that document would not be shared with the public because that is not my place so don't think that stuff's gonna be put out there if it ever comes out <laughs> thanks i appreciate it um that's just it's not i don't want to do that but um i i felt uncomfortable with that and f i know for me it was more of a fear of in for a lack of better terms uh in as far as the internet goes uh literacy is dead so even with your head just when you put that disclaimer about how to not call me a predator Okay, so Ellington, I was trying to get my chat to work. I'm, I'm guessing it's because there's gonna be something with. Hold on, I'm looking at the code. The whole thing of code is okay. Oh, 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 oh! I know why. I know why. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna fix it because I want my chat. Because it helps you guys, and you know what I'm reading on screen. So you're gonna hear me doubled up for a second, and I apologize. That's all. You're gonna hear me doubled up. Pop out. Oh, there's so much stuff. I haven't done some of this stuff in a while. I'll, I'll, I can explain why later on, why I got to do all this stuff, because I've stopped using a couple programs. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. I got the chat working now in the right manner. It's not just a copy of the pop-out script. But anyway, here, Ellington says, uh, well, he literally used this person to get Rin to berate them about the FCK leak stuff. And it would be just these two talking, and then he ambushed her. Oh, lovely. So we do have an ambush. Okay. So typical, Lyo's in typical form. Nice to see. Lovely. We were 20 minutes in. Um, God, I am going to bump this up. I know it's going to be harder to understand, maybe. We'll see how it goes. If it's too much, I'll change it back down. And how it would be triggering for me. I, I had the fear that if it had come out, people were going to do that anyway because of those when comparisons. When we get to the Lyo stuff, yeah, I'll drop I see it back that now. down to normal speed. I was a fucking moron because I, yeah, again, worst decision in my life. I, and comparing you to my abuser was really fucked up because oh. I, I was, I don't want to make any excuses. That was fucked up. I, I, I would include an explanation, but I don't know if it'll come across as an excuse or not. Um, honestly, 100% once again. First of all, uh, don't feel, don't, don't feel you need to self-deprecate. Um, I know I told you that like in 2021, but yeah, it still applies. Um, you don't have to put yourself down to prove that you feel remorse with me I, I don't want you to do that um but also um and i'm not saying this as a way of like my opinion because i'll tell you my opinion if you want um don't take this as a oh it's at rock bottom nothing you can say can either improve it or anything like that like it's more of like a there's nothing you can say that's going to make me mad at this point like there's nothing you can say that's going to make me want to lash out or anything at you because that's not what i want from this conversation okay fair enough thank you i appreciate it i'm sorry if i'm sounding dead i'm just trying to keep quiet yet you're again fine. you're fine again don't <laughs> feel like you have to do anything for my sake in the sense that for irony's sake uh, dead people are typically a very very quiet in the in the respect that they don't make any noise at all most dead things don't make any noise so the fact that you're making noise i, I would say that you definitely sound like something more alive but you know that's just me being pedant by the way i know you guys saw chat on screen for a while that little effing heart that you guys got i know you got it on your side too and like all the little emojis and stuff. I really wish YouTube would move that somewhere else because it cuts off the freaking sentence and it makes it hard to read stuff, which is why I'm delayed reading some of your messages sometimes. Sorry, rant over. You need to put yourself in harm's way or you need to harm yourself. You need to belittle yourself or you need to do things that you are uncomfortable doing just to appease me because that's not what I want, full stop. I want you to be comfortable. I want you to be comfortable too, though. So, okay, so oh, not but bad. would you like They're to know my opinion of you? It feels sure. really nice to say. It feels really full of myself to say. Sure, you can go ahead. It's been bothering me, I guess, um, because I've, I've seen you do it and I've seen other people do it. It's like this assumption that I hate you and I don't like at all. Uh, um, honestly, I don't think I've never really thought, but I really don't. I still don't think you're a terrible person. I just think you're someone that was hurt unjustifiably. You've been hurt a lot. And I, some of the things you let me know, some of the things I found out and Honestly, I, as someone who's also been hurt in their life, I can understand where sometimes that hurt is hard to 
cope with and then you know it becomes a case of hurt people hurt people and while i'm not happy that i was the people that was hurt um i can't sit here in good faith and say that that's like you're never gonna change or you're all like you're always acting with malicious intent you're inherently bad at the core i you're young you're you've been hurt you're not in the best environment to be able to learn those coping skills i've been there a lot of the things i i've seen you do not one-to-one -one, but the ways you've reacted the ways you've expressed feeling i've seen my mm. in myself as someone who's also like grew up in a not great environment which is why i was always open with giving you those um chances or um giving you that advice or help anytime we had conversations or dialogue after the situation because i feel like you know nobody's the same like last week as they are this week right um i'm not the same i was yesterday than i am right now i was in a different headspace uh i don't want you to think that um this moment it's, it's not like it's a small thing but i don't want you to think that this has to define you for the rest of your life i want you to be able to move on and i want you to be able to grow into the person that you want to be um not the person you think any of us expect you to be you know yeah um are you done because like that actually answers a question of mine and i'm gonna elaborate as to why i got paranoid with you sending me advice because you see back when i was little well 16 i would have someone that would give me advice only to backstab me and put me in danger and i was terrified that same abuser i was scared they would be extremely two-faced and talk about me being it, it's not an excuse but i was ex extremely paranoid that what you what you were doing was just uh, it's not an excuse it's just like i i dealt with so many people that an extension of kindness even feels fake even if i hurt them first if yeah i i'm sorry if i thought that of you i i was genuinely terrified that you were doing this to sabotage my brain or something and that's gross of me to think but i that was my thought process i was i was scared that you were doing that to mess with my head and make me think you're not hating me when you were actually hating me that's not an excuse so sorry for rambling that's that's my you answered my question yeah well, you weren't rambling at all so you don't have to worry about that uh i guess well, some of these questions are a little hard so if at any point like don't if you feel like you're in the weeds just let me know okay um uh i guess so this one i, I just want to know if you don't remember it's fine don't feel like you have to make something up just tell me you don't remember if any of these questions are i don't remember perfectly fine okay so back in 2022 at the end of our call it was revealed you still had a copy of the document when i asked why lyle said the reason you gave him was to reflect on your own failures i didn't know you were sharing it um despite like how you recounted it to ephraim um i did ask you how many people Christ, oh, Jesus. I thought he was. I thought we hadn't gotten lucky and gotten rid of him. Knew you had the copy, but um, you were away at your. Like, you were. You had the phone away from your ear because you were trying to delete it from your drive. Um, uh, but, you know, I ha now I have your admittance oh, to sharing it. That. I have someone by the name. Thank you for that, Necro. I had no idea about that. With Pixie. Uh, their Twitter route was As Asgore Agenda. Uh, mm -hmm. telling, me, telling me you sent it to them. I looked at old screenshots, yeah. and Rabbit had told Heaton that they looked at it, and then um, Autumn had showed me dms between you two and i saw that you had sent it to them and you sent it to them with the context of like your recounting and it was painting me in a negative light um where you did uh tell them that he had told you that a certain name was my name and you said it uh, in accordance with my current handle by the way the chat did disappear but you mentioned it to like show up and go away so that should be a little nicer and um i wanted to know how many if you could remember not even like it doesn't have to be an exact number how many people did you send the document after you had initially claimed to have deleted it deleted it in 2022 in 2020 when you had that call with avi so this is the original document the 88 page document that they're talking about oh um so rabbit uh rab i know one was rabbit and another one there may have been the other stated um hold on i'm trying to remember if you don't, because but do you just remember sending it yes okay that's that's enough <laughs> um do you remember because you had told autumn that uh, he and had told you that was my name. So am I getting the perception here that they're going to be doing like a good cop, bad cop type thing where this is like the good cop situation to kind of relax or, or him. Uh, I know they said they're trans. I don't know how to pronounce again. Apologies. Uh, but like the, they're going to relax them with the, the gentle talk with Jun and all this. And then it's going to go to, um, the shit show. I kind of get that feeling. Have you told anyone else besides autumn that that's my name? um the account with that was like the named after the yandere sim character no 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 no. um i can't say it because <laughs> it's my legal i understand word. it <laughs> i understand it um so um for like the can you repeat the question because like i, I, um, I get zoned out you're fine um i guess to put it more in perspective for you because you would know it would have been the name i used before i left the sec the first time um uh, so that been the name you met me by um uh, don't say it <laughs> but uh do you remember telling any okay 
So I'm gonna am I gonna lose context if I skip ahead? Like I I don't wanna miss something skipping ahead. Oh man, I really wish I had a transcript or somebody timestamp day timestamp it. YouTube. Nobody. Let's see how. Again. I'm gonna this is another question of mine, but like I did I nine times out of ten, I told people not to harass you or talk about you or so they went out of my out of their own volition. That that was not okay with me with okay. me regardless. It was it was just an unintended side effect and I was not very well and I didn't think it so I think... admittedly, yes, because I was scared. J just last night I was going to apologize to you for that for full clarification. We'll talk, we'll huh? talk once you guys get out your okay. issue assorted. Okay, we missed some there. I appreciate that. I had talked to Lyle about that. Um I'm going to, I, I haven't had the opportunity to, because I found out about the call in April, um, which brings me to another question that I'll get to in a second. Um, but I had a lot of things going on in my real life in April, so I had to push that conversation with the people in that call to the wayside, and I'm sorry for that, uh, because that's not okay. Uh, I did talk to Lyle about it personally, about my grievances with that, and he understands it uh, when he is able to, whether it is person to you or in this call right now. Um, okay, so we can jump to like you. two hour mark, and we're not going to miss much. Okay, I just want to hear the whole context for here. For full clarification. We'll We'll talk once you guys get out. Okay. okay, so that's just referring to them talking to John. Ba -ba -ba, two hour mark, eh? It seems like a lot, but we'll jump a little before it. Let's go like 15 Nothing minutes. Nothing bad, before. but I'm not like a murderer, right? I'm not, I wouldn't, because you said you were scared. I wouldn't be surprised if like it's protection because there are things that like can contribute to that fear because you're fear being alone. And if people hear these things, they might define you as such who you are now, right? So, for example, they might treat you like this is right now, even though that was that's something. The document happened in 2020. The document is not you now, right? You're not Absolutely making the document not. now, but it, it feels fear that fear of like, well, what if they think that person is still me? So then it becomes, well, that thing happened this many years ago. Um, I was this age when it happened, right? And for you, it's protection. It's to keep you safe because you're telling this to other people. It's not like you're telling me directly. Well, that only happened. That happened that many years By ago, way, June. Thanks, I was this age, Hi, June. Like, Hi, you know, Necro. You're not saying it to me. You're saying it to people Hi, because GM. you don't want that. Like, you, you fear the response, right? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense. It does make sense. Like what you're telling me does make sense because I also do it. I just do it to myself. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm fine. Sorry if I sound like I'm tired. It's like nine thirteen. Um. Yep. Yeah, same. Uh. So this is the last one. Um. And I want to ask you, why do you think if you had to hazard a guess, why do you think the video has not come out yet? Like why didn't it come out last year? Why hasn't it just not come? Oh. Out? Yeah. I I legit I was under the impression that you were do holding it over my head or out of spite, my paranoid mind. I I was legitimately thinking you were t taking too long with it to ups to upset me i can't go that so um the baseline ones like the ones that are at the surface are right um full disclosure i work two jobs and right now i'm in college full-time um <laughs> i'm my sole provider so like those are like the like you know the top ones right where um while this thing is important to me this thing did affect me i can't hold put my life on hold just to work on this thing right um even more crazier than that um december 5th is when everything went down right yeah this december like 2022. oh sorry for interrupting okay. before that <laughs> i had told heaton because by that point heaton was in charge of the video i said don't do it I just don't want it anymore. I'm done. So this is all stuff that happened a year and a half ago, roughly at this point. Yeah, pretty close to a year and a half ago. So, okay. This has taken a year and a half for them to connect to be able to have this conversation from what I'm understanding. I, I just want to pass it. And then everything was sort of happened. And then I told Lyle, I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I have decided I'm not going to do it. And then he told me, I think you should. So I was like, okay, it's back on the table. And then I spent um, one of my, one week of my two weeks that I have off, um, like point blank period that i had off um a week straight scripting and then there was production issues um and then i'm pretty sure at some point i had COVID again because i have it once a year um and then everything happened and then i took my six month break because as i told you i was looking back at certain behaviors that i just did not like i was seeing myself become more aggressive um and i didn't like it um so i went i left for six months and i did nothing but work and college <laughs> I went, I went, to, I woke up at five in the morning, went to my first job, then I went to my second job, came home at like, like seven or eight, worked on school, went to sleep, wash, rinse, repeat. On the weekends, uh, I'm relegated to helping my family because I'm the only one that can drive. Um, and I just went cold. And I, during all that time, in those three times when I'm not doing all that stuff, I was doing a lot of introspecting. And it culminated in this year when I... So I'm guessing this was a video that the this Jun person was going to put together in retaliation or in response to this document that the other person put about? In February, I said, you know, I have not heard anything about this person. I have not seen this person. Um, they were gone for a year. Uh, I don't want this situation to define me, but I also don't want this situation to define them. So unless I have absolutely no choice where I have to talk about it, um, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to. It's indefinitely shelved, right? Okay. And then the next day happened, and then I found out you were behind the FCK Weeks count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because I don't know what is with my luck with that. It's, it, 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 I, I, I poke fun at myself at that every single time. I, I make the joke that every single time I make a definitive statement about what I'm going to do about this video, something happens. <laughs> and I still wasn't going to do it. But unfortunately, you started saying things that really I am the only one that can talk about it because the context was me. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I still don't know if I want to make it. Uh, I feel at this point I have to. Um, I can guarantee you that um, if it were to come to be, uh, I have obsessively, and uh, both Lyo and Susie can attest to that, obsessively went out of my way to make sure that um, it is not disparaging of you. Uh, it is not, I'm not using this to punch down on you. Okay, let's really talk about the two people there that you're using for a guideline to make sure that a video is not disparaging or not punching down on somebody. You're using Doodle Tones and Lyo Convoy. You know, let's talk about, can we look at the track record here? Like, these are not the people to be looking at your video. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Literally anybody. Anybody else. Um, but just purely just to give context of a situation that's happened between us over these years. Um, I have gone out of my way to think of every single way, any, like, any possible way that someone can type out your old username and put it in a blacklist on my account. So if it were to come out, that comment's not going to go up. And if your old user, your other old usernames give you that same dysphoria, I will gladly do the same for all the other ones. Um, Thanks. I, if I have one quick request for the video, um, can you just lay, lay like Gal because my my stepbrother knows my current user, my no. um, my oh, my semi current username. My I, my current username is unknown to him, but he uh he knows Galvanum. Just I, name it Gal or your pal Gal. Oh yeah, no. Um, I don't want him showing it to my family and things going haywire yet again. Well, it works great for you because I don't know. Your current username. I, uh, the last one I know is Galvin. I'm in your pal Cal, which is, um, which would have yeah, been. Yeah, I'm just gonna, what I'm doing is just art under an obscure name, and even then, I'm I'm staying the fuck away from shit because like some people told uh, one of my friends Rabbit was like maybe your outing was like a blessing in disguise because it made me change my outlook on everything, but also it was terrifying. I yeah. Um, honestly, because we've had so actually I never asked you. Did Coda show you our call like between me and her? So you so by the way, if I was mean in that, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I keep listening to it. I feel like I was mean. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you were justifiably mean, but also I I, I felt there was one st statement that kind of made me feel threatened. But was, was other than that, that I, I I know you don't mean it anymore. So I, I don't feel fear anymore. Other than just please, if you're gonna call me, just call me your pal gal because I don't know if my stepbrother knows me by that name. You're allowed to speak. It's just like I do not want him finding it. Clarification: I, I do go through like the usernames you've gone through, like with me specifically, barring this new one that I don't know. So um, I do mention the old one. I just say don't call them. This is the only time I mention it, and then that's I fair enough. Call, but like throughout the video, I call you gal. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. just just mention it only once, and it's under historical purposes. That yeah, no. that's the only acceptable way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it, initially, it initially was in the title because it was like the timeline from like that username to your like your old current. <laughs> Um, um, but I okay, took that out because you had expressed it with a dead name. Um, so it's only just, I knew this person, this is when I first knew them as this name, and that's it. Um, from, like, I don't refer to you as that name, even when I talk about your other names, you're still gal in my, um, video. I did exclusively use they, them pronouns, um, because full disclosure, um, when I initially wrote the script in 2022, you went by, uh, she, they, and then, um, I had to go, and I used both, which made it easier. <laughs> not as easy, because Susie and Keaton are still in the script, so I had to go through the script. <laughs> corrected um but the, the the advice i gave you then and the advice i gave you in our call still applies um you you know it's somewhat reassuring to know <laughs> that even the people within this community have problems with the pronouns and getting things exactly right and knowing exactly what is what because like holy fuck every fucking like person either has is referred to by different pronouns is trans is um just some special unique situation which uh, entails you addressing them in a specific manner like like doodle tones like <laughs> i hate to say it but like doodle tones has got uh the fetishes and everything else that goes on has the history with medicare um has the voice changer so you believe that they are female I, I, I'm assuming, like, that's how I would interpret it listening to them. And then goes by he, him pronouns, if I recall right. Like, so it's like, and yeah, I know, the fucking fetish shit has nothing to fucking do with it. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, they've been around for a long time is what I was using for that. Just to say that it's not a new person here. 
but they've changed, I believe, as far as like their uh their pronoun situation has changed previously. They I believe they were she her, now they are he him. Ugh. Don't need, for example, my opinion to uh be the barometer on like whether or not you've changed. You don't need obvious heat and Susie's Lyos as the barometer of whether or not you changed. Um, because we're not around you, right? We don't see you in those day to day moments. We are not the people in your life. Um, the people you have now are in your life. Your current system of support is in your life, and they're going to see those changes. They're going to see you on your road and on the road to self improvement, self betterment, just like how my friends have been there for me and they've seen me um, on my own road to self betterment and self improvement, barring those six months I was gone. Uh, and I still firmly believe, and even way back in our, in when you apologized to me the first time, and how I told you how I don't want you to feel the need that you have to put yourself down to apologize or to show you're remorseful, because that's not what I want. And I'm sure it's not what anyone's. If, if somebody wants that from you, then that's not the kind of person in your life, period. Because they just want to see you suffer. They want to see you hurt. And it's probably because they're hurting. But just because you're hurting doesn't mean you, that, they should, that they should act upon those hurt feelings. And I still stand by how I want you to... And, but this is just advice. You don't have to do it. Um, but like, I think it'd be best for you to, you know, take... Take to heart I like those how this is gaming small victories. Any, like, no matter how small the victory is, now you that you feel I'm proud of. Something gamer. that makes you smile that you did. And you, you look at those, and you remind yourself of those. And you take the time to praise yourself for those, and give, you, give yourself those flowers. And even if you have okay. faith that you can do that. I appreciate those kind words deeply. I would be expressing more happiness, but I'm trying to feel a lot lighter. And I feel a lot less Okay. Same for you. <laughs> um, is there right, any... so are you two done? Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you talking to Lyo? Because I... Yeah. All right. So, are you two done with this? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. If you want to disappear into the ether or go to the rest of the audience, you're welcome to. Because I need to speak to Rim now. How do I do it? Leave the stage. You just leave the stage. Okay. All right. So, Rim, I will apologize for using your old username because I had forgotten that it was a dead name. That I will apologize for. However, you and I have some other issues. If you're worried about me yelling, I'm in the middle of McDonald's and Walmart, so I'm not going to. I will, however, be stern with you. Because I... <laughs> this has taken all of fucking 15 seconds. <laughs> you know what? I've killed probably like over an hour building up to this. I, honestly, okay, I'm going to... The VOD starts here, so this is, like, going to be... All right, so this is the Rin call we're going over. Uh, we just listened to Rin and Jun speak back and forth for a little bit. And um, by a little bit, I mean I didn't listen to this whole two hours. But right now, we just, we just got to where Lyle Convoy comes into the call. And I'm going to... I'm going to give you guys the... <laughs> the... Uh, the intro a la uh Lyo on on how he's gonna handle this. So uh we'll go right here. Glad we had it, period. Um so I thank you for doing that. Um I thank you for being open to talking to me. Same for you. Um is there All right, any... so are you two done? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you talking Lyo? Because I yeah. All right, so are you two done with this? Yes. Okay. So Yoon, if you want to disappear into the ether or go to the rest of the audience, you're welcome to because I need to speak to Rim now. How do I do it? Leave the stage? You just leave the stage. Okay. All right. So, Ren, I will apologize for using your old username because I had forgotten that it was a dead name. That I will apologize for. However, you and I have other issues. If you're worried about me yelling, I'm in the middle of McDonald's and Walmart, so I'm not going to. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, what the fuck? I, uh, I, I'm like, I'm like stunlocked a little. Okay. So, like, I feel like it's commonly associated that Starbucks goes with Target, and Walmart had Subway. When the fuck did they get McDonald's? What kind of luxury Walmart is this? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, keep in mind, from this point on, Lyo is going to be doing all this while walking around a fucking Walmart. <laughs> And excuse me, milady, I would like a Big Mac and fries. Uh, yes, the Coke too. Now look here. <laughs> I can't even fucking say the rest. <clears throat> now look here. <laughs> I have to yell at you in front of this high school <laughs> high schooler. <laughs> 
McDonald's worker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Well, however, to be stern with you, because I have given you no shortage of patience. Personally, I got you, or tried to, get you off the internet for a year for your own good, because you were not acting right. You did not do that. You found ways to get back on Discord. You still operated your Tumblr and had conversations with Adam Kohai that, yes, I did find out about. You also oh, 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 I, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I fucking forgot. We are going entirely too fast. I'm like, wow, well, I was kind of talking pretty fast here. You know. <laughs> Apologies, in for two. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Sorry, I know. It's the first time streaming. Of accountability. There's also what you said to Heaton. You okay. still tried to get you only fast. Go back to McDonald's. I'm much calmer and I feel a lot lighter. And I feel like this is the conversation we should have had in 2022. This is the conversation we were meant to have. And I wish we had it then, but I'm glad we had it, period. Um, so I thank you for doing that. Um, I thank you for being open to talking to me. Same for you. <laughs> now, okay. Now, Dunkin' Donuts in a Walmart would make sense, okay? Uh, and then you got Starbucks in the Target. But... Yeah, like, uh, this, what? <laughs> Imagine walking around to Walmart or in McDonald's <laughs> with the lion mascot <laughs> with a bunch of Transformer toys. <laughs> it is model kits. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine him, like, busting out the whole setup on, like, one of those little rinky tables at, like, a McDonald's? And, like, sitting there with all those tools and everything he does, and, like, a big light overhead. And, you know, the camera pos positioned right here. So that way you can only see his hands working. <laughs> and you hear, Order 29. <laughs> So are you two done? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, are you talking, Laya? Because I... Yeah. All right. So are you two done with this? Yes. Okay. So, Yoon, if you want to disappear into the ether or go to the rest of the audience, you're welcome to, because I need to speak to Rim now. How do I do? Leave the stage? You just leave the stage. Okay. All right. So, Rin, I will apologize for using your old username, because I had forgotten that it was a dead name. That I will apologize for. However, you and I have some other issues. If you're worried about me yelling, I'm in the middle of a McDonald's and a Walmart, so I'm not going to. I will, however, be stern with you. <laughs> uh, he's screaming about pedophiles. <laughs> with a card full of an addition. Because I have given you no shortage of patience. Firstly, I got you, or tried to, get you off the internet for a year for your own good, because you were not <laughs> acting right. <laughs> his wife divorces him, and this is how he has to make the videos. <laughs> oh, shit. My Walmart had McDonald's, and in the parking lot there was another McDonald's. Oh, my God. You know what, though? I bet you, like, okay, in one of those situations, Necro, one of them is the shit McDonald's, typically. You did not do that. You found ways to get back on Discord. You still operated your Tumblr and had conversations with Autumn Kohai that, yes, I did find out about. You also yeah. continued you also continue to obsess and engage in a beautiful... <laughs> I'm waiting for the fucking... <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, in the McDonald's or in any of these things, like a Subway, I can relate to. And typically, I like the Subway and all that stuff is like located near the door. So, like... You have the door, like, say, like, right here, and, like, the Subway or McDonald's is going to be, like, right here, like, just around the corner, okay? And so I'm waiting to hear, like, the security detectors start going off because somebody's, <laughs> something didn't scan right in the middle of him freaking out. <laughs> oh, shit, this is going to be good. ...that you claimed you were scared of, and every time I told you, find something else to do. You did not. So there are some things you and I are going to talk about. In reference to making light of someone's suicide. I... There is children there. I just heard a child in the background. 
I do recall, and I do not have them on hand because Twitter's down, and I'm not about to go bug Aaron Tempest to go scrolling through all the green caps. You did decide to take shots in one way or another at Nessie concerning what you would consider a lack of accountability. There's also what you said to Heaton years ago, which, even though it was years ago, is still out of pocket. Mm -hmm. I warned you multiple times. Didn't you just apologize for all that, though? Like, so now we're going we're gonna to scold her after the apology. Lyo's new tactic. Let them apologize first, then scream at them. About the people you were around, about what they do, about what they enable. And each, every time, you ignored me and you justified it. You admitted in this call that you took an account that you claim, you claim, was made to help the victims of the FCK and you made it, let's be honest, you made it about me. You made claims about me there. And let's, okay, okay. Let's not fucking forget this FCA leaks account, as far as I know, came out between the Rosa call and the uh, Raven call. So roughly, I want to say it was like roughly around this time last year, maybe a little later that that account started. If, if I remember right, I could be totally fucking wrong because I'm trying to like struggle to remember stuff because I haven't covered any of this Lyo shit in a while. But yeah, it, it was because Lyle was acting like an asshole. And so was Peaches. And this was a exposed account because not enough attention was drawn to the fucking Rosa Ray Ramsey thing. And I believe uh, between basically a Kumo, Kumo, um, and a couple other people, like including the FC, FCK leaks account, uh, the outsider account on YouTube and a couple others. That's why we know about a lot of this shit because they wanted it fucking buried. They said they had their apologies. Now it goes back and forth on whether that actually happened or not. Uh, it's just. Uh... Also, you sent me a text demanding answers about my family. We'll ask you very directly. What in the name of God did you think that was their business? I, I have a very personal view of disownment. I don't care. It's... I asked how it's your business. It's not. Then why? Because I cared for Jordan. Care. Past tense, that's interesting. Care. I said care. You don't care for Jordan. You don't know Jordan. You don't know anything about them. And now, uh, uh, Lyo, how the fuck are you going to say whether somebody cares for somebody or not? Like, I, I, that's a lot of fucking throwing insinuations out there, bro. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you're going to assume to know what that person's feelings are. Man, we're gonna we're gonna be pausing a lot here. I feel like. In fact, you didn't even do your due diligence. You ran off to call me an abuser. You used the FCK post to do it. In fact, you also claimed that I should not be trusted with predation cases because of the FCK logs that I did not number one have the knowledge of in full. Now I call bullshit because I thought he did know about that shit. Because didn't he get the logs? Oh, God, I'm just gonna struggle to remember the timeline, but. Um, Akumo, didn't he get the logs and like, uh, somebody reached out and he got the logs, Akumo got the logs. And I want to say he either shared them with Lyo or Lyo got them around the same time. I don't want to like put words in and, and like tag people with like, they definitely did this. But like, if I recall right, that's the shit that happened here. So he did have those logs. If I recall right, because those are the logs that, um, were used, weren't they? Yeah, because it was the fruitcake server where all this shit happened. With, um, Toasty and, uh, Fursky and a couple other different people. Like, I'm trying to recall names here. Again, I'm going in this fucking cold. So, like, I didn't really view any information. I have no notes. This is just going off memory. So, I apologize if I'm getting shit wrong. But I'm 90% certain that's the one that had Peaches in there. It was about eight, nine months ago. Okay, that's when that's when the FCK leaks account was. Okay, okay, okay. And yeah, I'm pretty fucking certain that Lyo had those fucking logs. So I think he kind of bold-faced lied right here. And number two, I didn't know what's the word. You don't know anything about them. By the way, the dragging chair sounds really are going to add to this call. In fact, you didn't even do your due diligence. You ran off to call me an abuser. You used the FCK post to do it. Imagine sitting in a fucking Walmart McDonald's like 
This is like literally sitting in a fucking fish bowl. <laughs> and having people just try to eat their fucking cheeseburgers and french fries. <laughs> and this guy's like, you accuse me of being an abuser. In fact, you also claimed that I should not be trusted with predation cases because of the FTK logs. That I did not, number one, have the knowledge of in full. And number two, I didn't have the time to peruse completely through. Yeah, I'm I'm 90%. Yeah, and that's, and that's both sides of the context of that because that's a period at the end of that sentence there. Because he's going to start to talk about something else right now. But yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure he had the logs. He did not review them. He's stated that multiple times. I'm going to have to give him the benefit of the doubt, whether I want to or not, that he may not have gone through them. But I'm pretty fucking sure he had them. <laughs> Inconceivable. You made absolute claims because you were mad at me. I want you to at least call it. What? I didn't you, hear you. You made claims about me. Because you were angry at me, and I would like you to at least own that. I, I don't want to confess something that I don't feel because I, I legitimately thought Jordan was abused, and nope, I still. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. You... Now, Lyle, as someone who goes through all this shit, and you pride yourself on proof, you're really not going to give somebody the benefit of the doubt, and you're just going to go on. Trust me, bro. Right now, you don't have evidence, do you? I Where's your evidence? Okay, what's your evidence that she wasn't abused? I mean, we can point to your video, but, like, okay, is there any guarantee that this person has seen your video even? I mean, we want to talk about, like, oh, you didn't have the time to see the FCK leak uh, logs, but did this person have time to see the video? Mind you, they were in, in mental health care. So, like, <laughs> this is where people go to hit rock bottom. Damn. Evidence. What's your evidence? What? Um... In regards to... Where is your evidence to the claim that I am an abuser? Um, so, in regards to... I want to say something, but, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna rewind this. I'm going to make you guys listen to it. And then I'm going to want to listen to her words, and then I'll, I'll make my statement here. Jordan was abused. And nope, I still... I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Because you don't have evidence, do you? I Where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? What? Um, in regards to... Where is your evidence to the claim that I am an abuser? Um, so, in regards to you, 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 and raising, for you being... Raising a voice to somebody is not inherently abuse. If you're going to cite the one time I typed in all caps to you, because quite honestly, you did not want to accept what I was telling you, that is not indication of abuse. Where's your evidence for abuse? I can, hold on, I'll, I'll send it. Because I was freshly out of the mental hospital. I'm a... Okay, hold on. I'm going to do a couple of things. But, like, I... How are you going to sit there and demand evidence? And, like, I don't think they understood the question. Lyle was asking, how do you know I abused Jordan? And she doesn't even answer. So he then does his typical answer for somebody. And he says, is it because of the one time I typed all caps? Now you're putting words in somebody's mouth. Just fucking wait. Like, just wait, Lyo. Let somebody answer. Let them speak for themselves. You know what? You might be in the fucking right here. If you had just let them fucking say their own fucking words, you're cutting them off. <laughs> Do you think he, like, wears cat ears out because he knows he'd look ridiculous if he wore the whole lion head? So you just this, this is a grown man sitting there talking aggressively in a phone call saying I'm not an abuser while wearing cat ears in a McDonald's in a Walmart. I just see that. Um but like okay, I apologize. I, I, like I said, I'm I'm I've gotta to listen to this inherently abuse. If you're going to cite the one time I typed in all caps to you, because quite honestly, you did not want to accept what I was telling you. But that's where he's saying that is to you and meaning Rin. So he's talking about the time that he typed in all caps to Rin. How does that make him an abuser? Okay, I kind of get where he's coming from there. But why did we lead with the Jordan stuff? Because that's what he was asking about. And that's what. Okay, so he asked, why do you think I'm an abuser? They stated because of the Jordan stuff. I thought you did abuse them. He reiterates and says, what is your evidence? They provide a non-answer. So he comes back and says, 
is it because I typed in all caps to you one time, which has nothing to do, nothing to do with Jordan. So you brought something into this and completely removed it from the conversation. And depending on somebody's mental state, you're going to confuse the shit out of them at the very fucking least. <laughs> if I could draw, I would totally fucking draw it. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I cannot draw that well, but <laughs> I may have to get somebody to commission that for my thumbnail. <laughs> Tell me why so. <laughs> oh, bad. But like, I don't know. Going back to this, like that, that's, it, it was just confusing to me. I've had to listen to it twice now to understand like where you're going with this line of questioning. So he asked about evidence. We've moved on from evidence to you, Lyo, typing in all caps to them, Rin. Okay. But even still, that would that be evidence? I mean, typing in all caps, are we really going to take that and say that's the evidence? You don't know. You don't know what their evidence was. Did they have a conversation with Jordan? Did Jordan say things in that conversation? Are you just going to dismiss it because you don't care for Jordan particularly anymore? Um, a la your, your big ass video that you release. So like, I don't know. And again, like, did they even see the video that you made before all this? Because right around the time that all that stuff happened is when they were forced to delete everything. So did they even have an opportunity to see it? I mean, mind you, it's been, how long ago did that come out? Like a month? Uh, let's go to the YouTubes. Let's go to Lyo addressing um, convoys addressing things. It's on Kumo. Oh, where? Man, the fact that like his channel is buried that pin me as he filters. That's on my channel convoy. Nope, we not listening to that shit. Uh, let's see. addressing things came out three weeks ago. Okay, so. Have they had the opportunity to watch this? Because if they were in a, for a week or two, they may not have. Especially like if there's, I don't know. Man, that's a tough call. Why didn't you ask them that? Like, hey, did you see my, did you see my uh, video? That is not indication of abuse. Where's your evidence for abuse? I can, hold on, I'll, I'll send it. Because I was freshly out of the mental hospital. I'm aware of what you were talking about. That is not indicative of abuse. So I, will also... ask, I will ask you again, because I do not want to continue going around the rosy here, because it has been two and a half hours, and it is 9.30. I'm going to ask you one more time, where is your abuse? Where... <laughs> it's 9.30 at night, this man sitting in a fucking McDonald's in a Walmart. <laughs> With bags under his eyes. <laughs> With one of them, like, three or four cups of <laughs> McDonald's coffee. <laughs> and he's just sitting there building his model the entire time. He he already finished, like, an hour ago, so now he's just visibly frustrated. Where is your evidence that I abused Jordan? I don't have it. So you just make claims without evidence now, then, huh? I mean... Okay, what did you say? You, where is your evidence that I abused Jordan? I don't have it. So you just make claims without evidence now, then, huh? Okay, but did he not anticipate this call getting released? Because, or does he just assume that everybody on this call understands and knows what the evidence is that he's referring to saying that it's not enough? Because I, I have no idea what he's talking about, and it's not been, like, thoroughly brought up. I mean, J Jordan, I, I, I still think you hurt him but also uh oh i hurt him in what way did yeah and cutting them off did i hurt him rin since you know so much about what goes on in my home tell me emotionally you oh emotionally in what way jesus christ man stop fucking cutting them off mm. he in a group chat he told i'm trying to recall i you he he felt like <laughs> I want evidence, not claims, Ren. Evidence. Because I really don't know and I really would like to know Lyo's ability to empathize. Because how could you hear somebody speaking like this and going from how they were what? Where we're we've only gone four minutes. Okay, so I'm at four two oh four fourteen. 
I just want to go back to show you the difference. Happy. That makes you wake up and you look at yourself and you're proud of yourself. I fully believe that you can do that. And I have faith that you can do that. I appreciate those kind words deeply. I would be expressing more happiness, but I'm trying to keep quiet. You're fine. Okay. But I deeply appreciate it. This actually quells a lot of paranoia and anxiety. Like, um... Just to give you the difference. We're gonna go back to 2 -0. I want evidence, not claims, Ren. Evidence. Because you've hurt a lot of people too. Should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? I don't want you to lock up. Do you hear how distressed and like they're getting at this point? I've got mixed emotions on that uh, video with Stardust uh, Necro. I was gonna maybe even cover that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I could maybe put on... Uh, maybe I'll do an, a Lyo ASMR for you guys right now. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I, I've got some mixed emotions about that. Um, I feel like that lawyer was also equally manipulative in a couple different ways um, that I could point out. I did not agree with how they handled certain things and how they said certain things. Uh, I thought they were going in for a gotcha and it's not that hard to get a gotcha on Lyo, but when you could actually have had a better, more, I don't know if you would have had a more productive conversation with him, but you could have definitely had a better way of uh, displaying his ineptitudes to the audience um, than how they did. Because at, at a couple points, that whole conversation devolved into a, a, a sexism argument a political agenda argument and i don't feel like any of that belongs here because in all the calls that i've seen he's not really brought that stuff into any of this um and, and that's just in the stuff that i've covered he's not brought it into that you know it's not to say that you know he doesn't say different things that allude to it um but i don't believe that it was a good look i also don't believe that Having Stardust and Lyo having a conversation and then bringing in a third party without having that discussed beforehand is quite right. Um, especially someone that's uh, just there to kind of steamroll the conversation the way that they did. So uh, without going into too much more, I mean, it would really take me going through that call to show where I, I agree. Because there's a lot I agreed with Stardust. There's some points I even agreed with Lyo. And it's just because of how that call went. I believe everyone walked away looking shitty. <laughs> want me? I want Yo, you to sit Daddy, here. You, you sat there and you blasted it to an audience. Your dude was eating it. We're listening to the Lyle Convoy sit in a McDonald's um, inside of a Walmart at 930 at night discussing and eventually probably yelling at somebody uh, just based on how I see things going right now. So just mind you, this is all taking taking place around people that Lyo does not know. Yeah, I mean, I've heard things where I've heard a call that I cannot substantiate, where Lyo is outwardly racist. I mean, outwardly racist. So I, I, I don't want to insinuate somebody's sexism or politics and all that in the discussion that they were having. I just didn't, it didn't feel right to me. I mean, I feel like that's a separate thing to call them out on. Just the line of talking that they were going down with talking about victims and everything else. Um, <laughs> I just, I want to, I just, with, you know, when they're having a discussion about victims and everything else, I just, I didn't feel like it was the right time or the right place without pivoting the conversation well. And they didn't pivot well. They pivoted it like, like they were just throwing words. Felt like. <laughs> I want evidence, not claims, Ren. Evidence. Because you've hurt a lot of people too. Should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? I don't want you to lock up on me. I want you to sit here because you sat there and you blasted. Well, we'll see. We can hold him to it because we're coming up on the five minute mark. And then I walked around Walmart. So we'll see if we hear anybody else getting up from their chairs because you know damn well ain't there no there ain't no chairs in around Walmart. Maybe, maybe you're lucky. Maybe you got a super Walmart and there's a bench somewhere because the fucking thing's massive. 
yeah, that, that Stardust call was bad on all sides. Unfortunately for Stardust, I feel it was to her detriment to bring that lawyer in. I think she was winning the debate way better on her own. Did it to an audience and it was eating it up. I am not you. Like the, uh, sorry, I'm going to have to go back. But like when she brought up the whole fact that like, hey, there's classes on this and stuff. That was a fucking own and a half that she had. So just to go to the show, like I'm not sitting here and saying Stardust blew that. I want evidence, not claims, Ren. Evidence. Because you've hurt a lot of people too. Should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? I don't want you to lock up on me. I want you to sit here because you sat there and you blasted it to an audience. You knew was eating it up. I am not you. There's a difference though when it comes to doing like, okay, mentally there's a big difference for somebody to sit there and they're going to be a lot ed edgier like teddy teddy's a lot edgier typing on a keyboard i'm, I'm calling you out teddy I, i'm not meaning to <laughs> but teddy is going to type things and they're going to be edgy does that mean he's going to appear and have you hear his voice and say them maybe maybe not more likely people that are typing these things and saying these things don't feel comfortable necessarily saying them aloud and then there's a step further where like are you going to go on camera and show your face say this shit to an audience regardless of how big or small out loud so people know that it's you saying this shit out loud so it, it's different levels of protection of identity there <laughs> yeah she lost fucking awful the drunk sunday uh, like <laughs> Teddy, you're just the example, okay? You're the example for the class. <laughs> so we close in 15 minutes. And you'll have to go back to whatever zoo you came from. <laughs> oh man. Yoon has a bigger heart than I do in cases like this. And I have a pretty dog on big one. Not something I actually like to toot my own horn or do. Oh god, what'd you find, Huggy? What'd you find? I 100% believe Teddy goes door to door handing out pamphlets in his neighborhood about Jewish conspiracy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Teddy, if you do that, I disavow. I apologize. Oh, God. Uh, on the, on what, on the thing you sent me? My Mexican doppelganger? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on, class. We're, we're derailing. I am a man with heart and feelings. <laughs> Teddy, we know you don't have feelings. Don't lie to the class. Sorry, my hand got moved. And when I say my hand, I, I don't think I've ever shown this on camera. I have a little actual, like, it's hard to see. I have a little actual hand that holds up the edge of my monitor because it's kind of heavy and it wears on the on the stand. And somehow it, the ghost keeps moving it over. I think I may be the ghost, but I don't know. <laughs> oh teddy don't say that now teddy you're drawing a line you're crossing a line man why is discord not opening oh christ hold on uh let's go to task manager i've had this happen like once and there's probably like 15 instances of discord open but nothing's actually open nope five i've got five instances let's end them nope what did i just end oh as long as i didn't end system 32 we'll be okay Okay, now Discord will open. It's going to take a second because now it's going to start all the way up. I have no doubt, Lions. <laughs> Lyo's heart is big. <laughs> High cholesterol can do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Vin. How you doing? Okay. Go here. Go here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to struggle through this shit. It's my first time streaming, people. Okay. Go to... Go to where? Where am I going to, guys? Is this in... Is this in on the Discord? Yeah. Where is it? I'm trying to locate my Mexican doppelganger. The hell is this shit? All I see is sluggy. Okay. I'll wait for a response. But you're talking to somebody who has opened this home to two specific individuals who abused that and another individual who I gave constant attention. I've totally thrown off context. I gotta go back further. You've hurt a lot of people too. Should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? <sighs> I don't want you to lock up on me. I want you to sit here because you sat there and you blasted it to an audience and you was eating it up. I am not Yoon. Yoon has a bigger heart. Oh, I bet you you're talking about go to 15 minutes on the stream. I'm an idiot. Um, what the fuck? Huggy, go to this link. Uh, there's no link. 
is the link. Shit, I don't have it. I don't have my fucking other one open. Uh, docs. Ooh, I don't have my chat. Will it show up? It will not show up. Mm -mm. Hey, Vin, thanks for subscribing. Teddy, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be fucking with my bots now, Teddy. His name is Nick Ricada. Huggy, I didn't get a link. Uh, just DM it to me if you haven't already. Oh, you did. Hey, look at that. Oh, this guy. All right. All right. Copy link. And then we will go to here. Derailing. That's wild. It is an addicting thing uh, for some people. So it was... And I guess it just wouldn't be surprising that this thing that's adjacent to all that could be considered addicting. Uh, do you do this anymore? And I stopped about maybe three or four years ago. You know what? I'll take it over this guy. But my beard is better. My beard's way better. Yeah. Was that hard? It was a little, It was difficult. Did you like wake up one day and you're like, I don't want to be in a stinky... My mustachio is better too. Sticky, sticky <laughs> smoky area with fake that have no emotional connection to me. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll take it. I, I don't have the curly hair, though. And mine's just greasy. And I don't even think it's that greasy. I, I Actually, I showered and conditioned today. Like a, a young, healthy, middle-aged man. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You know what? I'll take that. It, it could have been worse. 18 minutes in? I don't know. There's, is there a better version of me? Let's start at 15. Well, 14 minutes. So I thought that's... Bu -bu -bu. 16. So I'll take it. He has a silver plaque, so... You know what? I'm, I'm not going to be upset about that. Oh, I've gotten compared to Give an Ant. I look a lot like Give an Ant, too, unfortunately, for both of us. But yeah, Given and I look very similar. Um, who else? Leia said something, but she has me blocked, so I can't I can't tell you who else I look like. Um, there was some other YouTuber, apparently, I look like. You know what? Aside from Give an Ant and I, most of them are successful, so I'll take it. What is your take? Let's see. You know what? Uh, probably because he's, he does accounting, Teddy, but so, you know what, if you find accounting sexy, I, uh, go for it, bro. <laughs> Dude looks like a Sawyer version. <laughs> you know what, as long as I don't look like the ginger. Ren, evidence, because you've hurt a lot of people too, should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? I don't want you to lock up on me. I want you to sit here because you sat there and you blasted it to an audience and you was eating it up. I'm very true, Vin. Very true. Very true. I, I got I to get like my mind reset on this. Like I said, I haven't watched any of this shit. So you're getting like live hot reactions from me on something. I want evidence, not claims. Ren, evidence. Because you've hurt a lot of people too. Should I now call you an abuser? I'm just, you know what? I don't want you to lock up on me. I want you to sit here because you sat there and you blasted it to an audience and you was eating it up. I am not. Can I point out his tone of his voice has not changed. So I highly doubt that he is walking around Walmart right now. This man's still sitting at the McDonald's in the Walmart. Yes, folks. Lyle Convoy is just sitting in a McDonald's in a Walmart yelling at some autistic, possibly trans individual over the fact that they didn't have evidence to call him an abuser, although we know Lyle's evidence, given previous stuff, of calling other people abusers. Not Yoon. Yoon has a bigger heart than I do in cases like But by, by the way, the Yoon person they keep referring to here just spent two hours, like, completely de-escalated this person, had them, like, calm, speaking well, like, they said they were sorry, they sang Kumbaya, um, I'm pretty sure there was, you know, some stick bashing, kind of like we see in that video on Twitter. Um, I don't know if they paid money to do the stick bashing, but... Yes. And I have a pretty doggone big one. Not something I actually like to toot my own horn to, but you are talking to somebody who has opened this home to two specific individuals who abused that, and another individual who I gave constant attention and support to at over $8,000 and was horrifically abused over it. Was it eight thousand dollars the first? I thought it was six thousand dollars. Is the money going up? Is that just me? I feel like the money's increased lately. And we went over the whole Walmart subway thing. I have Walmart subway. Uh, apparently, there's there's a higher tier of Walmart that has a McDonald's in it uh, because you know McDonald's ain't fucking cheap anymore. But yeah, I am not in the mood to hear excuses. I want answers. And if you were in the position I am, you'd want them too. I am not yelling at you, and I am not raising my voice, and I'm not going to. But I want answers. 
So. But you're being condescending. I mean. I don't have evidence. It was just I, I, I have the account deleted, and it, so I, I can't. I don't care if the account's deleted. You know what was on it. I want to know why you made the assertion without evidence. I was emotional, and I, yeah, I was angry. Why were you angry I with was, me? Because I care for Jordan. You don't know Jordan. You don't know dick about Jordan. Were you the one that had Jordan in your home for two years? Were you the one that paid for his? Mind you, how old is Jordan? Wasn't Jordan like uh, of age? Like, uh, not to use a King Cobra line, but like, I believe they were over eighteen when they came to live with Lyo. Uh, so, Lyo, how well do you know Jordan? Did you allow Jordan to live with you for eighteen years? Like their parents or? you know, their guardian, whoever raised them. Like, how the fuck do you know? Food, his lodging. Were you the one that was there for him during his breakdowns, during his panic attacks, during his episodes? Were you there for him when he, when you came home and he was crying on the steps because of a boy? Were you there for that? No. So how in the name of God do you care for Jordan? It's part of caring for somebody is making very clear to them when they're screwing up. Well, Lyle, do you care for Jordan? Were you there to cut the umbilical cord? Were you there to help with them through prenatal care and pregnancy? You know, I could do that shit too, bro. You didn't. You took something. I don't know you why. ran with it. I don't know why I went, like, slightly reverent there. Like, a little, like, like biblical. But, you know, I'm going with it. To know the real reason why. I believed him. So... Why? Because you <laughs> sat there and you harped on another person who made another claim on the FCK saying, you don't want testimony, you want evidence. So why did you not eat evidence with me? Because what happened with you and Jordan was in person, so it seems impossible to get <laughs> Necro. <laughs> yes, Jordan was, in fact, alive, consenting. <laughs> Non-related. <laughs> Amazed, but not... <laughs> But not cisgendered. <laughs> evidence, unless you record something without someone's consent. We live in Texas. It's a single party consent state, and Jordan knows that. Oh. You ever thought that maybe, just maybe, it wasn't evidence because it didn't? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they insinuating Jordan not recording something here? Because you sat there and you harped on another person who made another claim on the FCK saying, you don't want testimony, you want evidence. So why did you not eat evidence with me? Because what happened with you and Jordan was in person, so it seems impossible to get evidence unless you record something without someone's consent. We live in Texas. It's a single-party consent state, and Jordan knows that. Oh. You ever thought? Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I could also see somebody feeling, like, awfully odd about trying to record some shit, and, like, maybe getting caught uh and what the repercussions of that are and you know or whether the call uh, recording quality was not that good like it's not not as straightforward as you think it's not like you know you go to your local walmart and you sit down in the mcdonald's and you put a phone down on the table and you got your little happy meal there you got your cat ears on and you're like i'm recording this then maybe just maybe it wasn't evidence because it didn't freaking happen and if the table were turned, you'd be really, really upset. If nobody came to you for their, for their side, did you? You'd be really mad about it. You didn't. Instead, what I get from you is an asinine text about your personal values on disowning, which has nothing to do with mine, has nothing to do with anything that went on in my home. And frankly, you're not even in a position to say because you don't have kids and you never had to care for anybody. Yeah. Or do you... Or do you I mean, technically, if we want to go there and you want to throw that kind of shit around, Lyo, technically you did not have kids either. You never had to deal with kids. You didn't sit there and teach a child how to piss and shit in a, to a toilet. You didn't cut uh, the umbilical cord. You didn't feed them baby food and have them throw up down your back. Like, they're not your kids in that respect. You didn't teach them how to speak. You didn't teach them how to read. You didn't teach them how to... They came to you knowing all that shit. They were a fully trained adult. When they got to you. You think that being disrespectful to my wife while her father is dying is somehow acceptable now? I wasn't. So. You weren't person. aware because you didn't ask, Rin. Because the truth of the matter is, whether you want to admit it or not, you wanted it to be true. Because I was the guy who made you leave the internet. 
I was the guy who held you accountable. I was the guy who upset your friends. Okay. So to go back to what they're talking here or what they're talking about here is in Lyos addressing things. He puts out there in the Jordan section, which I believe is like the first or second section, uh, when there was an instance of Jordan potentially maybe going through some shit. I don't know. They didn't sound like they were too well in, in their mind. Um, but Jordan was having some issues and kind of acting up. And at some point, uh, Lyo and his wife both spoke with Jordan and Jordan said some awful shit in turn about how, Hey, you guys weren't even paying attention to me. And they had sat there and said, well, yeah, it's because we were dealing with the fact of, um, his wife, who, whatever their name is, uh, is their father is dying. And I believe Jordan said something along the lines. This is not a quote. It's a paraphrase at best. Uh, good. I hope he dies quicker or something like that. But that's about it. But again, we're talking about like, I, I, I don't know. For someone who swims in the unwell ocean that you swim in there, Lyo, you don't seem very well equipped to understand how many unwell people you're dealing with, including the ones that you brought into your home. Your friends that enable your worst of actions. And I want you to be honest. Own it. Instead of trying to pretend like you did it for somebody else. Because you did it. Because you don't know Jordan. Have you ever paid? By the way, I just thought about it. His actual tone and inflection may not have, <laughs> may not have changed because he might be going around on one of them little mark cards <laughs> with the phone on his hand. Because <laughs> you know damn well, I ain't going to walk around. <laughs> Can you imagine this big ass man sitting in a little mark cart, cat ears on, driving around having this discussion in Walmart? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Paid any of Jordan's bills? No, I'm not allowed to because my dad controls my fan finances now because of my me being outed no you had several months to do so well before you were out you didn't pay any jordan's bills you didn't do any of that i want you to i have had friends that i've never given them a cent doesn't mean that i didn't care about them doesn't mean that i didn't have you know any strong emotions for what they're going through or anything like that like you're you're drawing lines here and you're trying to draw comparisons between a friendship and a pseudo parentship which is kind of what you did. You basically were kind of like a guardianship is kind of what you were doing, Lyle, because again, you skipped all the hard stuff. You had the fully trained adults show up at your door. They knew how to dress themselves. They didn't fucking shit in the middle of the hallway. You know, like they knew how to feed themselves. They weren't going to burn the house down if they got home before you, unless it was intentional. But like there, a lot of things can be said in, in exact, uh, contrast to what you're doing to be honest did you believe this because you wanted to <laughs> when i was first aware of it no oh which is why you asked my side right i literally did actually because you i did asked not you what was my going side on you, told... you did not ask my side Rin. i'm going to get the text right now you will not sit here after you were very open and honest with yoon and lie to my face that is not going to happen and i will not permit that he did not walk around Walmart. Do you want to know how I know he didn't walk around Walmart? I'm going to tell you how I know. Listen very closely. I'm going to make sure the volume's all the way up. Volume's all the way up. Volume's all the way up. Nope. It's not all the way up. Now it's all the way up. Side, Ren. I'm going to get the text right now. You will not sit here after you were very open and honest with Yoon and lie to my face. That is not going to happen, and I will not permit Do you hear that? That is the beeps of a checkout register, if I have ever heard one. This man has not moved from the goddamn McDonald's. So bullshit, it's been 10 minutes, roughly. <laughs> oh my god, I've gone, I have done nearly an hour and we've only covered 10 minutes. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I need to shut up and let this play. That. <laughs> it would be out of breath, true. I was thinking that the whole time. A lot of talk about Jar, a lot of talk about Rabbit, a lot of concern about whether or not I called you a degenerate. Here is what you said. <laughs> I saw Kumo's recent video of Jordan. Is Jordan says you disowned him and you wanted your side of the story because Kumo is an unreliable source, but Jordan much is. You didn't actually want my side of the story. Yes, I did. did Stop and.
How the fuck are you going to insinuate whether they wanted it or not? They reached out to you and literally fucking said they want your side. Did you not lis listen to the words that came out of your own goddamn mouth? Rabbit. A lot of concern about whether or not I called you a degenerate. Here is what you said. I saw Kumo's recent video of Jordan. Jordan said you disowned him and you wanted your side of the story because Kumo is an unreliable source, but Jordan much is. And we've proven that Kumo... Not necessarily an unreliable source. You may not like them because of the past actions, but doesn't mean they're an unreliable source, first of all. Second of all, it's coming from Jordan speaking with Kumo, and they're saying, well, I trust Jordan, but I don't trust Kumo. I want your opinion since you were directly involved in this situation. They're literally doing the right fucking thing. I know I said I was going to let this play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't actually want my side of the story. Yes, I did. did Stop and say, this I don't is believe my you. Problem. I don't believe you. And the reason why I don't believe you is because you ran with it, Rin. If I'm telling you I'm not going to discuss family stuff with outsiders, and I say Jordan choosing to be in contact with you apologist, they'll forever shut that door. You know what? Kumo was in the Fox Mafia. You know he happily sat in a server full of people who had loved to have conversations about how dog did. Kumo was not in the Fox Mafia. Jesus Christ, I watched the fucking stream. From Kumo, where there was Fox Mafia fucking people coming in. I know because Akumo was also there. And Fox Mafia people came in there. And there was like a couple of them. And he actually said, you know what? I want to say, was I ever in the Fox Mafia? They're like, no. You were just there doing whatever the fuck you were doing. And you kind of pissed us off from time to time. That's literally what they said. I watched it play out between the chat and him in real time. Well, as real as possible. I mean, there's a delay, but it's a lot more fucking real time. And you're saying that that didn't happen, Lyo. You're saying that didn't happen. Did you do it? Did you do your research? Did you look into this? Did you get the evidence? Where's your evidence that Kuma was in the Fox Mafia, contrary to this? It, they're saying he was in the server, but he was not in the Fox Mafia shit. Which, by the way, I got a couple guys at some point. Yeah, he's okay. You know that. And then you rattle off a whole bunch of stuff. I'm unsure if George's telling the truth. But why didn't you tag or interrogate? Or better yet, if it's not your business, why continue with it? Again, you, you're allowed to not believe me. You're I'm right, because I don't. But I'm stating that I don't want to be pressured into false admissions like last time. So I'm saying I genuinely didn't want to believe it at first. And then I. What do you I mean, like last time? You weren't forced into false admissions last time. What are you talking about? No, like with, I felt forced, but with Heaton, that that one call. But you weren't forced. Hold on, you weren't forced to say anything. You didn't admit to anything that was a lie. I think what. Oh fuck me! I told you, replacing peaches, power vacuum. I fucking called all this shit. Here they are. I know. Anything. You didn't admit to anything that was a lie. I think what Rin is trying to say, Lyo, is that they felt <clears throat> like they were admitting to something under us. Yeah. Yeah, that's so if I'm telling you, if I'm telling you it's not your business, mind your business, why would you still propagate something with no evidence? Well, so we're just going to gloss over all the shit you just fucking said. Because I, I'm sorry. And I, oh, God, I hate to like, fucking say this. I agree with Doodle Tones. I agree with Doodle Tones here. Um, like, uh, what they're trying to say, maybe they can't articulate it quite as well, but, like, you can't then just gloss over it because now that's being pointed out to you. Why? I made it clear. I I cared for Jordan. No, and I, I, I don't believe that. Because you know what? I care for a lot of people, too. That doesn't mean I propagate things without evidence. I did it with Peaches because they made it to a point that their life was constantly on the line if I didn't. You didn't have that issue here. You don't know anything about Jordan. Do not sit here and sell me on it. You also, and I'm going to be blunt, can't sell me on the idea that you cared so much about what happened in FCK and stuff. You know, technically, and I, I'm, I'm probably going to sound awful here, technically, where's the evidence that their life was truly on the line? Did you actually have reasonable evidence to say that uh, all of the claims that Peaches were making that they were going to end game was truly substantiated or were they just baiting you? When you made the Twitter about me, 
much, by the way, to the chagrin of the victims. But it seems we're not going to get anywhere with this line because you specifically can't seem to rationalize your actions. By the way, I finally remembered the. now that I heard the word victim, I don't know why that triggered it in my mind. Um, Slimmers. Slimmers was the person that was victimized under the FCK server by uh, Toasty Vanilla and um, oh, Peaches. I believe there's some implications because Doodle Tones was there too. Uh, with, now, how long they were there and what they knew, but basically, uh, to kind of just uh, breeze over this real quick, the FCK server had miners in it, and within that server, they were also having miners uh, see art, and they were critiquing art that was lewd and adult in content. Um, so it's 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 a very very fucked up situation at the very least. So, but yeah, and now that I remember, Slimmers was was the person in with the FCK that was getting uh, things. And there was like two other individuals. <clears throat> there was like two other individuals that also were in there. Or rather that you don't want to. I don't know which. So we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> Do you know why I brought up your father in my video? Because you, d you wanted, I don't know. It, you wanted to use it. You wanted to point out that my I didn't want my LGBT plus friends even though I'm literally trans. Th why are you defending that point? Because that's gross. You didn't have to watch my video, did you? I did. Then you would know what you just said right there was not my point. Okay, so they watched the video. It took me watching the video three times in order to understand all the points that you were making in regards to things because I had to even look up auxiliary things to understand what you were dressing because you made them so suspicious so specific to the individual you tailored too much and didn't include the audience that were asking the questions the point i made Rin, that i know you missed because i saw your youtube post i was not saying that your father's values are yours that's been saved by the way my point was your values are incongruous with each other you cannot on one hand worry about your LGBT friends finding out that your father is a died in the war Republican and then actively enable, support, and hang around people who frankly are more hateful to trans people than your father is. Because as horrible as your father seems to be, unless you're gonna correct me right now, I don't recall him actively going out and maliciously dead naming people or on top of that, using I'm the wrong pronouns to, to allow them up. Go ahead. I'm going to correct you. He actually does all the does freaking he, time. Does he do it in front of thousands of people? Not thousands, but he has. I don't want to disclose family details. I'm not going to ask you to. Not going to ask you to. That's why I'm keeping it very vague, Red. Why do you always do that, Lyle? Why do you always take a situation, ask a question, and then further grand make that question grandiose by? Like, okay, so let's say, like, okay, but did they go outside and see the sky was blue? Yeah. Okay, did they do it in front of witnesses? Like, the fuck does that matter? The, you, they just answered your question. You actively allied yourself with people who willfully and giggling use dead names and the wrong problems. You actively and willfully engage with transphobes whom you say are against your values. How can you not look at these things and realize the incongruity? Fair enough. I think there's more to that than a fair enough. Did you, the thing is, okay, did you do some of the art for Akuma? Yeah, I did. By the way, can I say the fucking balls on this dude? And I'm not saying anything, but okay, let's call it what the fuck it is. This man sitting in a Walmart, in a McDonald's in a Walmart in Texas, of all places, saying this stuff about Republican individuals, which... Texas is a predominantly red state. Now, unless he's in Austin, which Austin's kind of like a fringe upon its own within Texas, I would be kind of uh, on edge saying this type of stuff, just like I would be on edge going to, say, L.A. wearing a manga hat. Like, it's just not a bright idea. So I, I, I will say Lyle's got some balls to sit there and say this kind of shit while sitting in such a very public environment. In the, where the, where the, the art you did, which one was it? What art did you do? It was like a, um... Which videos? Hold on. It's, it's been a bit, um... 
Okay, let me make this simpler for you. Has it been in any of Akubu's recent video past three months? Me? Like, been in it? Has the art you have done been in any of the recent videos, recent videos, that Akumu has put out in the past few months? I believe so, yeah. Would you give your father art to use? Would you know he's going to spread hateful rhetoric? You want to spread? If you knew who I Akumu was. I, I would draw. Now, wait a fucking minute, Leo. What the fuck happened that this guy totally changed his fucking tune? Because I watched the fucking call between him and Akumo. Now, is he talking about Kumo or Akumo? Like, these are different individuals. So, if I'm listening right, I'm hearing Akumo. Ah, fungo. AKA you. There's Akumo. This has been in the works a long This is how Akumo sounds and how he looks. So, in any of the recent three months, so, he's had one, two, three videos, four, five, six, seven. So what, we got four in a row, and we go, how many rows? Man, Akumo. In the last three months, so then I would have to go to the four-month mark. So one, two, four, five, six, seven, 28, plus one, 29 videos. So any one of these 29 videos could potentially have artwork from Rin. Now, I'm not about to go through and click on each one of them. Now, Kumo is a totally different individual. Sounds totally different. Presents totally different. I can literally cancel you a Kumu, because I am the freaking pedo hunter. <laughs> By the way, great trailer. Let's see. Here, Kumu has only had, what, one, two, three, six, seven videos? And only one has art. Well, two have art. Two have art on the thumbnail. So, he has to be talking about a Kumo. So he has to be talking about this. And like I said, there's 28 videos here. Like, that's a big difference. And then of this, one of the big videos that we watched from this channel was a live stream between just a robot, Lyle Convoy, right here. I've gone over this. And that's it. He's covered this call that we're going over now. Um, he's covered this video, which I've started to watch, but it's, it's doodle tones. I don't like doodle tones. So, what the fuck happened that he changed his entire opinion? Honesty and decency of a man <laughs> who yells at disabled people in a McDonald's, <laughs> in a Walmart, <laughs> at 9 p.m. <laughs> very, very true. I art for my dad in regards to D&D, &D, but when it comes to political endeavors, no. That's not what I asked you. I asked you if you would draw art for your dad, knowing he was going to use it while spreading hateful rhetoric. Because you know who Akuma is. You know what he does. I would not There's know. There's no way you know. How do you... Hey, honey, I'm going to go to a KKK rally. Could you draw me up some art so that way we, me and the guys can look real good while we're burning the cross? I appreciate it. Thank you. Who the fuck says that? How the fuck are you going to know how somebody's going to use art? I could have somebody draw up a thumbnail and I could sit here and spit really hateful, harmful shit and they would have no idea. So to sit there and you're adding... You're adding fucking qualifiers to this question that how the fuck can you guarantee those qualifiers occurred? Like, you can't. And I'm sorry, I know I keep pausing. We've at least made it 15 minutes. Okay, then why did you for Akuma? Why are you willing to associate yourself with one group of trans folks but not another one? Because he's been there for me since forever. And your father raised you and has a roof over your head. What's your point? I, I care for Akuma too because he's been hurt by the FCK. And he, he's been there for me for like a long time right over and a lot head. of people vilify right, him right over your head just right over your head. somebody being in text chats for you was fine but if that somehow violates your most basic values which is don't be a transphobe then i think your metrics are a little off because somehow being there for you in discord calls somehow rates higher for you than having a roof over your head and I'm not saying that your dad's not awful. He probably is. You're drawing false, like, false connections here, man. Like, you're drawing connections between someone who's birthed and raised a child. Again, you have not done that, Lyle. So how can we trust your perspective on this if you've not done that? Okay? And I'm not trying to, like, 
call you out and make you less of a man by saying that shit. I'm pointing out fucking facts here. You've not fucking done that shit. So how are you going to sit there and say all these other connections here? You know, I've had friends that I've told stuff to that I've not ever told my parents. I've had things that I've told my parents that I've never told my friends. They're totally different situations. So without knowing the full context, which I know it's something that you like, you don't care about, but like you feign, you feign this fucking fact that you care about this shit. Like that, that's so fucking frustrating. Been around enough groups to know how these parents can be. But do you not see how this is a bit unequal? Mm, what would it say in severity? Uh, I, I guess, yeah. You guess. So you care a lot for Jordan, huh? Your word, right? Yeah. Cool. So when a, when Kumo started making fun of them when my video came out, did you get on to Kumo for it? Wait, wait, what? I didn't stutter. You heard me. Did he make fun of them? Yep. Matter of fact, they made fun of them pretty regularly in Kumo and in Lost Server to an extent. Now you're... What would it say in severity? Uh, I, I guess, yeah. You guess. So you care a lot for Jordan, huh? Your word, right? Yeah. Cool. So when a, when Kumo started making fun of them when my video came out, did you get on to Kumo for it? Wait, what? I didn't stutter. You heard me. Did he make fun of them? Yep. Matter of fact, they made fun of them pretty regularly in Kumo and in Lost Server, to an extent, one way or another. But, um, Jordan knows that. Jordan knows that. I did not then we, know that. Oh, then, then we have the fact that Gilda Poo actively thinks that as he should kill themselves. And yeah, you came in and said, who or Gilda, let's not say that. You really think that's the type of energy you should have there? Just politely, please don't. I was No, because, you know, what you're doing is definitely getting so much farther. Now, this person just admitted they didn't have the fucking full context. Now, is that on them? Maybe? I, I don't know. Again, I don't have the full context of even what you're saying here. Trying to be polite and... No, no, no. Because you wouldn't have that energy if it was one of your friends. Let's be honest here. You don't know that. You don't fucking know that, man. Like, I'm very fucking polite with people until they're assholes to me, and then I am the biggest fucking asshole in the world. To people i have no problem being that way but i don't start out being an asshole it goes to that old saying you know you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar here's my problem with you ren you lack any form of consistency you make special exceptions <laughs> for certain transfers but not ones that pay your bills oh this is you know who these people are you know their nature you know they're awful so why are you their friend and i genuinely want to know they care for because you because i know i know their sides they, oh. Akumu helped Nil with being trans. Oh, Ak th interesting. That doesn't mean what he did was okay. I don't, I don't condone a lot of what he does, but you- hey, where's your line? I'm trying to keep my voice down because I don't want to get hot, caught. Where's your line? Where's your line, Rin? So as long as he's okay with the trans people you know and like, then Akumu's fine? Because he misgenders but, doodle tones all the time. He takes shots at doodle tones for things that happen. Because a lot of people don't like Doodle Tones because they're an awful person and they've changed their story four fucking times and it's been proven. There's a lot of other shit Doodle Tones has done. I've had somebody in my fucking chat before that tried to nicely approach Doodle Tones and say, hey, this is not the way to handle this. And Doodle Tones made a full fucking video out of it calling them out. And they felt fucking embarrassed to the point that they never made content anymore. Like they, they wanted to quit content just because of Doodle Tones. So where the fuck is Doodle Tones line? Where the fuck's your line, Lyle? Where's the line between you being the nice guy and you being this way? Because I've seen you be this way to a lot of people who are mentally disabled in some way, shape, or form, or otherwise have other mental incapacities going on. But when it came to sitting there with Stardust, you had a different fucking tone. When it came to sitting there with Akumu, you had a different fucking tone. And I've noticed that. I've noticed when it's people that are... um bigger than you in size or mentally on the same plane as you whether it be uh because of whatever reasons like i really don't give a shit like it's just amazing how you can belittle people that you feel are beneath you where's your line lyo i ask it again what does a person have to be for you to treat them with decency then Doesn't why do you like admit then where is your line rin you wouldn't do art for your dad. You wouldn't. In yeah, yeah, the Husker situation is great proof of that. Like, 
<laughs> I sat there, I consoled and, uh, you know, I wouldn't say consoled. I think that's maybe taken a little too far, but I, uh, addressed, uh, Husker with respect, even knowing the stuff that I was going to show later on and was still polite with Husker and tried to give them advice. And Husker decided to sit there and fucking shit all over it and try to copyright strike me just like they'd done to a bunch of individuals that I was copying in that stream and going over. I shouldn't say copying, but, but like, these are people that I was covering in that stream. That's what I meant to say. And going over, like I, I, Lyo is starting to make me believe he is a bully through and through. Like he, he cannot change his cult. He is a, you know, he is not a lion. He is a tiger. He cannot change his stripes. His stripes are to bully and belittle anybody he feels like is beneath him, that he feels like he can get away with it, regardless of whether uh, whether they are truly sorry about a situation, how they feel about a situation, whether they understand the situation, because we've seen all of that. We've seen that with the Rosa call. I still do not believe that Rosa fully understood the situation. That you and how many people, Lyle? How many people were in that call that you belittled Rosa in front of? And then you felt like it was unjust to call you out on that because you apologized. Well, let's just, you know, look back here. We're 15 minutes into your conversation of a two hour and 15 minutes so far. Two hours of that was her apologizing and speaking out with the person that they felt like they wronged the most. And there was a bunch of back and forth apologies on behalf of others that could not or would not attend. That's how you handle shit like adults. They handled it like adults. You're handling it like you think you can be everybody's fucking parent. And that's a problem. You're not. You're not their dad. <laughs> well, I don't know if naked mole rats have stripes, but if they do, then I will call him a naked mole rat. Yeah, and you know what? I will take, even taking into things for granted that I will give Lyo the benefit of the doubt, even though I don't have proof that he's telling the truth, okay? Even taking into account that maybe their medical history wasn't all of what people put out there and maybe they were a mod even if they were a mod and all the other medical history that we hear of may or may not be true the fact is is still they had brain damage that was pr true you said the same thing Lyo and they had issues resulting from epilepsy but you thought because they were able to sit there and competently run their mouth on Twitter that that made them totally okay can I tell you, you don't have a time limit on sending tweets, Lyo. I, I can sit here and I can open up a fucking window and go to my Twitter and start writing a tweet and walk away for hours. I could write something audacious, like, uh, I don't know. Oh my God, I can spell. That's a different thing. I could write something like that. Now I want to make sure. Yep, you guys can see it. Okay. Spelling errors and all. There you go. <clears throat> I could write something like that. And you know what? I could watch the rest of this video. And unless I hit post, it's not going to send. So I can add to it. I could take away from it. I could reword it. I could say, uh, mm, you know, you notice how I can like change the context of this whole thing just by editing my wording here. And, you know, I, I only got it for like another 30 days, but I got the little blue check mark that even allows me to edit it an hour after I post it. Like, bro, just because people say shit and people do shit on Twitter does not mean they're the same people speaking does that mean that they're on this level? Does that mean, you know, you're, treat, you're treating everybody the same, but also different at the same time. I don't understand how you got this idea in your brain. No, I didn't see Endo's video. I'll have to watch that at some point. But like, I just, I, I want to prove a point here. Just that, you know, like typing shit and saying shit online. Fuck, people say shit in chat. I've been called awful fucking things in chat. Like... I don't think that that is necessarily the same shit these people would say face to face to me. <laughs> like I, 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 they're not the ones sitting here doing this. So, you know, people can say whatever the fuck they want. Like, I, I don't get you, man. Enable him to spread hateful rhetoric with your art, but you will with Akumu. You say Akumu has been there for you, but your dad put a rope over your head and raised you. You keep changing this by the way. And it's very fucking confusing. I, I don't understand. I'm glad Rin's been able to keep up with this because I think you've been talking about Kumu the entire time, not a Kumu. Again, totally different fucking people. One guy did 28 videos on you. One guy did eight, seven. I Probably love garbage. my dad's milk, so. Okay, but you just told me that you wouldn't do it for your dad, but you'll do it for a Kumu. 
And your reason was because Akumu's been there for you. Do you not see the incongruity here? Did Akumu or Akumu, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about, because English is evading you right now and escaping you, that these are different individuals. But let's just say it's Kumu, because I believe that's who you're talking about. Do you think that Kumu necessarily came to Rin and said, hey, I'm going to sit here and burn a cross and read from this hate rhetoric book about trans people. Would you do thumbnail art for me? Do you have proof of that? Where is your proof of that, Lyle? Where is the proof that she knew, or he knew, I'm sorry, don't know pronouns, before doing the art, what the context was going to be? I'll have to look at it. I'll see what I can find. I'll see if I can dig around and find a copy of Ando's video. Do you do you think the people you're associating with during all this are good people? Yes or no? If Akumu changes his outlook on tr- transphobia, he would be definitely a good person because he tells the truth. You know? Oh, see? Not like t- about trans... But he, he, he does not lie. I'm so he does not uh, lie. No, he, he has lied. Every human being on this planet has lied. Okay, what do you lie about, Lyle? Where's the proof? Where's the proof, Lyle? Show the proof. Why didn't you come to this call with proof of Akumu lying? Because now we're talking about Akumu, not Kumo. And notice what you said there. What was the first word? If. 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 I asked you a yes or no question. And I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you think the people you're associating with during all this are good people? Yes or no? Yeah. Do you think they're good people? Yes. Hmm. So you I'm don't take any... You're not going to what? You're not going to make me budge on that. I'm, I'm sorry. I... T- t- I'm... T- I, I... Lyle, if your ass had a fucking massive coronary heart attack and the person giving you CPR is a fucking cross-burning KKK member, would you, after coming out of it, say that they are a good person or a bad person? Answer me that. Because that's the kind of context and questions you like to put out there. So let's see what your answer to that question would be. If, you know, the person who um, saved your life was uh beating his kids at home on the regular and uh had accidentally or on purpose killed someone uh, i mean a million different things they're a raging alcoholic but you know they had an accident where they hit and ran somebody are they a good person or a bad person what about everything that might happen yeah it is stupid you're right pudding yeah i just i i want to put it out there like jesus fucking christ Slyo. I care for them. And Why? they all they all always have a good What happens if the person that is there and sees you have a heart attack because you're shoveling fucking McDonald's down your face is does not save your life because they don't know CPR and they didn't think quickly enough to call, but they're a pastor at a church. Are they a good person or a bad person, Lyo? Go in the total opposite way. What if they didn't save your life? Because you had a massive coronary heart attack from shoveling french fries down your fucking throat and had an IV of fucking Coca-Cola. Yeah, you can be a good person have shitty opinions. You can be a bad person and do good things. Like, you're going to sit there and give um, so many little bits and, like, I'm trying to think of the fucking word that I even want right now. I'm kind of, like, frustrated because of this. But, like, you give uh, charity to people when it's your people that you want to talk about. I haven't heard you bring any evidence to this. You have brought evidence of people you don't like. Where's the people that are good examples? Where are the people that have been wrong? Where's the, where's the evidence of that? Good part of them, unless they, yeah. they're like Everybody a has, or... Rin, Rin, everyone has a good part of them that doesn't justify the wrongs they do. You know what these people... Yeah, I, and I was going to say it on that, but I've not watched any of their recent videos, so just in case something had happened, but from the stuff that I haven't watched on Kumu and Akumu, um, aside from calling their chat uh, stupid, which actually I believe that was just a robot that really kind of pointed it out and said, your chat's, uh, I, I think he even said the R word or something similar. Um, like, <laughs> they're just the most dumb group of people that he's ever seen like i I don't remember his exact words so the best i can do is paraphrase but like i i've never seen a kumu especially because i've probably watched more his stuff than kumo's stuff rin's dad can you rin did draw sorry i'm reading chat yeah exactly i mean you you've totally summed it up very well there pudding like okay rin's dad can easily throw disown rin and throw them and cause them to be uh homeless or worse but they've not 
then there's uh there's being some edgy bro on the internet and then there's being a straight up abusive parent uh and rin says that they also care for their dad still just like they care for akumu and kumo like but god forbid like lyo get any of this nuance nuance totally ad adverts any thoughts in lyo's head people are like you know akumu and kumo are transphobes you know kumo put my wife What's in videos proof? too and do not do not What's i'm your tired proof? Of okay like i okay He's put the wife in videos, but that information you could argue was out there in public information because it was on a forum. Just like you argue the shit that you do is okay because it's on a public forum or in a public, a publicly available space where you use the white pages and you use uh, the, uh, what did you use? Been verified or some shit like that that you admitted to. Okay, did those pictures come from like a Facebook or something? Because that's public if it's not a private Facebook. Like again nuance man nuance rules for thee but not for me kind of shit yeah exactly like i, I i've got questions about fucking uh lyo at this point you're hearing this nonsense say well i disagree with that as though it would have been acceptable to you if it was anybody you like the truth of the matter ren is these people whether they realize or you realize it know full well it's real easy to get you on their side so long as they're nice to you and you'll excuse any sort of nonsense so long as people are nice to you a marker of somebody is not inherently how they treat their friend, because who doesn't treat their friend nice? It's how they treat other people. Because here's the thing, all of this excusing you are giving, all these whataboutisms, it certainly didn't give to me, and you wouldn't either. Your tweets show that. What did they owe you, Lyo? Why did they got to give you that? This is somebody they consider a friend. They didn't consider you a friend, Lyo. Where's, where's the uh, proof that they considered you a friend in all of this? They said they gave that charitability to friends. What was the talk about everybody having a good place when you were sitting there calling me an abuser? You do have a good side, though, too. That's not what like... I asked you. Not what I asked you, Ren. I will not allow you to sit here and pivot like that. You are going to answer me directly. Bro, I have you pivoted more very than a goddamn Abrams tank. I have not raised my voice at you. I have not yelled at you. You will answer my questions but as I ask them. you can still be demeaning. I can sit there and talk to you and say, look, you piece of shit. You know what? I think you're the dumbest motherfucker in Texas. And I think that anybody who talks to you would instantly see how just so fucking stupid you are. And I don't even have to curse. I can sit there and see it as sweet as possible that people will definitely see the level of incompetence when they speak to you. They will see you drooling all over yourself, sitting at a McDonald's table, unable to even comprehend what goes on in the world and how nuanced situations can be. I was just mean to you, Lyo. I never raised my voice. I never sat there and was mean to you. I used words just like you. Well, not deviate. And I didn't I, I, sh I, can you re-ask re it? Sorry. <laughs> you can go on and make all sorts of excuses for people who are nice to you or people you like, regardless of their egregious actions, but you don't for people you don't. Because you had no problem turning a thing that was allegedly, and I quote, for the victims, to be all about me. So where was that talk about me having a good side when you said I am not reliable dealing with predation cases, that I'm an abuser? Oh, and then we have you who dropped nil, but somehow nil magically is able to still message you, um, telling you that I'm accusing you of something but it had nothing to do with you. And you lost your mind on that. Did you drop too. nil? You told, I was told that you stopped talking to Nil because of their hypersexuality. No, that's not true. Well, then you got a lot of explaining to do to Neurofunk as well, because you told them that too. I didn't, I said Tommy. Oh, what is this, Lyo? Is your evidence incorrect? Hmm. Are you going to change your opinion? Are you going to apologize to them for having an incorrect stance and incorrect evidence when accusing them of something? Are you going to hold yourself to the same level and same opinion that you just sat there and criticized Rin for? You told some. You told me and them nil. Uh, I did not drop nil. I told nil to drop Tommy. Either way. Uh, oh, we're going to pivot. Are we going to pivot? Let's assume that's right. That somehow Neurofunk and I have the same information. Where was that concern then? No, instead you just ran with something nil said. Didn't verify, didn't ask questions, just went off on a tirade. <laughs> You're kind of right, Necro. 
further accusing me of things. You know, it's really funny, Lyo. They're looking up evidence right now for what you're saying. Matter of fact, I think your exact words were that you hate me so much. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Because what? Because I didn't do dick to you. I was going. Lyo, you can hate people without knowing anything about them. Do you have a caring soul for all serial killers? Do you have a caring soul for all people who are going to be serial killers, who are going to commit murder, who are going to uh, abuse somebody? Are you going to, you know, be able to read that immediately? By the way, I just realized that live chat was not on, only top chat. So if I miss things, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just, again, the rules for thee, but not for me. Going to accuse you of that, Rin? Why wouldn't I use your most known name? Or do you think you're the only person on God's green earth that has the name Damien? That was wrong of my assumption on my part. Oh, I trust me, I know. Did you just openly dox somebody? I'm going to assume that you didn't know this call was going to go out there. But then again, you know how much of these calls are recorded. So unless this is in confidence and you knew that it wasn't going to get recorded, why the fuck would you throw the name out there? And how many people are in this call that knew this person's name was Damien? Like, I, I don't know if that's their real name, but I know that they referred to a dead name. So I'm assuming Damien was maybe the dead name that they didn't want to be referred to by. So wouldn't that make you a little bit transphobic there, Lyle? I mean, I could spin it that way too, couldn't I? Because... Because what? Because I didn't do dick to you. I was going to accuse you of that, Ren. Why wouldn't I use your most known name? Or do you think you're the only person on God's green earth that has the name Damien? That was wrong of my assumption on my part. Oh, I trust me, I know. But this is my point. You will give grace to the most horrendous things on the platform, so long as they're your friends. You can the hypocrisy, man. You've got to understand that you're being the biggest hypocrite. Sitting there and pretending, and I'm going to say pretending, because in all, in all respect of the word, you are pretending to care for trans people. And then sit there and dead name somebody. Especially knowing the impact and all that shit that it can have on people in that community. And you know what? I will especially hold you accountable because if anybody would know, you should know. Because the amount of people that are trans that you surround yourself with. Because that community has such a high predominance of trans people. Like, that was transphobic, motherfucker. You realize that? <sighs> No, he's not going to admit ever that he got info wrong. And he's now just resorted to that. You can say all sorts of things about my behaviors, some of them very valid, but I still hold my friends accountable. And it's not just, well, I disagree. I dragged Coyote here in Senate, but enough of his neck and published that call. Did it to Miss Anthony Pony, too. Really, Lyo? Really? How much of that did you know was going on behind the scenes? You got. You got fleeced a bit by uh, Coyote Lovely, if I remember that situation correctly, because they just said no, 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 and you believed them because the information coming from other sources you did not want to believe because they were not your friends. This was sources such as the Fox Mafia, and because it was the Fox Mafia, you did not want to agree with that information, regardless of how accurate it may have been, until you had no fucking choice that's what i saw so that was a horrible fucking example the misanthropony situation i can't honestly speak on because i don't know a whole lot but i know enough about the coyote lovely situation to know when you learned about information how long people had been saying stuff and you didn't want to listen to that and if i still had contact with aaron i would do it with them too you won't because they're nice to you. You have literally now in this call said you will excuse transphobia so long as they're your friend. You will excuse people bringing other people's wives into things so long as they're your friend. I want you to tell me how this is justified. Because I can not... tell you this much, I can tell you this much. Pay very close attention to what I'm going to say to you. If Jar did a video on you and put your father on the video, everybody would be coming to me wanting his head. And you'd be leading that charge. So if that ever does happen to me, I should just excuse it by saying, well, Jar's nice to me. How would you feel if I did that to you? Tell me. I would be uh, I would be angry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but would they also then get you in a call and then sit there and give a bunch of false uh, equivalencies and everything else and, you know, be hypocritical and everything else? Would you be okay with that, Lyo? Because you've been that. I've pointed it out. And, and like I said, I haven't covered this shit in a while. 
So it's not like I'm like other people who see this shit all the time and can be like, oh, well, this is this and this and this and this and this. So maybe I'm even missing shit here. But man, I mean, really, the only thing I will give you credit for that you won't excuse is child predation. Congratulations on meeting the bare minimum. You will accuse. Lyle, you're not even meeting the bare minimum because you're being so fucking hypocritical. You can't even sit there and say you're saying that somebody is transphobic or that other individuals that this person is friends with are transphobic without evidence while then actually being transphobic on the call. Use people without evidence. You will claim you care about somebody knowing literally nothing about them because you don't care about Jordan. And I'm saying that as somebody who did. I... And you did do the exact same thing with Coyote Lovely. You cared about them. They were your friend and you wanted to trust them and you didn't take the information that was being told to you. And I still think you're also lying about the FCK logs, but again, I don't have proof of that. So the best I can say is that I think you're lying. I think personally, you care about who you can weaponize when you're mad at somebody else. And the FCK Twitter account proves that in spades. And, you and I think you sit there and you will align yourself with people that provide you an echo chamber and allow you to sit there and be the badass that you think you are. People like diddle tones because they think they, they are the same level and they get away with a lot of audacious shit, but God forbid the mirrors hold held up to them and they have to sit there and answer for shit that they've done. All of a sudden the story changes to benefit them. They were groomed. Oh my goodness. It was so awful. Even though we know that's not the story. We know it. You were even told that you were shown evidence of that in a call with the Kumo who last I knew you were okay with. You ended pretty amicably. I wouldn't say you were dinner. You're not going to sit down to dinner with your friends and stuff like that. Uh, but like, God damn, you're such a fucking hypocrite. I can't even like think of all the things I want to say because you just, you're so frustrating. You admitted to that. You admitted you utilized it because you knew people were listening so you could have your own little issues for the SEC. Here's the other thing that I'm going to take you to task for right now. You did not divulge to Akumu your history. You know you saw his live stream with me. Why'd you lie by omission to Akumu? It was also because I was scared that if I spoke, that I would get legal action. I made that clear. Oh, no. I'm talking about to Akumu. Akumu. No, not I... Not to us. Not to us. No, no, no. No, no, no. You've never been scared of legal action before because you had no problem telling me you were still scared of the SCC, which, of course, now is contradicted by you attacking them using that account by your own admission. So don't, don't, don't even. Yoon may buy that. I don't. And Yoon's welcome to. You were scared of legal action then, especially when you knew we found out you would have ducked and ran or you wouldn't have gotten involved at all. You went on one day while I was driving to Dallas to visit my in-laws for four hours about how scared of the SDC you are, but the moment you think you can essentially sweep their legs, there you are in the front line. This, Lyle, this is no, 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 go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. I do apologize, at least. What? Huh? For what? I listed out a whole for, bunch of things For here. hurting you, I... Look, Rin, how do I put this delicately? You're not capable of hurting me. You didn't hurt me, you pissed me off. Because you proved, proved, Jace right, once again, you proved that the people I try to help don't want it. It's why you constantly went behind my back to get back online multiple times in 2020. It's why you still ran around so you knew you weren't wanted in. But it's why the moment you got a small inkling of being able to fire back at people you were mad at for calling you out, you, you have done unquestionable damage to people for nothing. For nothing. Do you really think you helped any victims with that account? I did, because... How many victims have you helped, Lyle? How many people have you put in jail? How many uh, predators have been put away because of you? Because the one that we know of that got put away was put away for computer crimes, something that you pointed out. Um, now, I, I again, I don't recall enough other than that to say what those computer crimes were, but they were literal physical computer crimes, not crimes on the internet. Um, so it wasn't technically what you we're going after them for. So I, who is to say that you even helped put them away? 
and in all the calls that you've had and all the things that you've done and all the doxing that you've done and everything else because you're okay with that because moral guidelines regardless of hypocrisy <clears throat> you're okay with that but you know <sighs> he's whispering because there's kids in the toy aisle with him oh man. yeah I, I can definitely hear the mouth breathing especially through the headphones who's your help who's your help tell me okay i need i'm dying of thirst and i have to keep talking so i'm going to hold on a second here i'm gonna go on like a quick break it takes me a minute but uh, <laughs> oh my goodness okay hold all on right, i'm just gonna put out some medicare music and i'll be right back all right i'm back look at that it's like perfect timing <laughs> I, I just realized the irony of the song that I threw on. Oh, man. has helped exactly one person. Peaches win $8,000. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. But I have a drink now. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to take a drink so that I can then speak because I'm sure in about 15 seconds I'll have to pause it again. Why do you want names? But I'll, I'll name them Gar Gary, Jamesy, um, Teddy. Um, Teddy, you think? Damn it, Teddy. Jim, get Teddy back in here. He needs to answer for this. The irony of this is the fact that this person, Teddy, is called Teddy that draws. <laughs> so I'm going to start referring to our Teddy as Teddy that doesn't draw. <laughs> um, I'm trying to do a delicate dance right now. Okay. I think you helped Teddy. Interesting. Teddy expressed it, this trait taste, but like I, I sent oh. the money. Even though I, 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 I care for them and I, I, no, 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 I care no, 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 no. If I care for my wife and get her a dog, but then make sure that dog is never in contact with my wife, that's not me showing that I care for my wife. You did not care. These are not the actions of someone who cares for others. Caring takes self-sacrifice. You don't have that, Rin. Caring takes self-sacrifice. It does not. I can care for people and never have sacrificed a thing for myself never have sacrificed a value never sacrificed a thought an opinion uh moral anything so you you're wrong there lyo you're wrong self-sacrifice is not necessary to caring you've demonstrated it multiple times He's involved multiple anyway. times. in this call you've admitted that you have lied you've admitted that you've been spiteful you've been vindictive you utilized a platform that was supposed you know what they admitted to all this shit Lyle, what, what have you admitted to? You had evidence incorrectly. You've been transphobic. Um, you've been willfully ignorant of certain situations involving people that you like, like Coyote Lovely, but then want to sit there and not be held up to that same level that you're holding these people up to when it comes to their friends. Like, where's where's all the apologies and stuff for this? We never got it with the addressing things video. You know, you address... You would, you, <laughs> You apologize to people that you are now condemning. You also sat there and called out people, again, with little to no evidence in some situations. Like, you've been spouting this whole, uh, Kumo's in the Fox Mafia, and that he's a, uh, a zoo, a zoo file, or a, a zoo sadist. I don't know which one you use for him. Um, but I know, I know you use zoo file at least, so I'll take the minimum term. So you accuse him of zoophilia, again... Every time you said that, I've never seen proof come from you on that. Um, so where's the proof, Lyle? If you're going to keep saying it, maybe show the proof. Supposed to help people who are victims to attack other people falsely and to scream about me being an abuser with no evidence. So if somebody accuses you of the same, should I accept it and do videos on it or should I make tweets? I could say you're an abuser right now. You don't have to be beating someone, screaming at someone to be abusive. Your language, your tone can be abusive, and they can be independent of each other abusive. I can be screaming at you nice things all the time that's abusive. I could be just talking in a normal tone and saying the most heinous and awful shit that is also abusive. It's about it, Ren. You're right. Glad I took the drink. But what? What's the but here? I, I shouldn't have done that. You're right, you shouldn't. I know you shouldn't. I'm the one saying you shouldn't have. But you are still here, still trying to make excuses for the fact that you would enable people who spread hateful rhetoric because they're your friends. And this is always your trap, always your failure on this end. You overlook horrendous actions by other people so long as they're your friend. You as their... 
Mirror. 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 A friend should be up there but about stuff like this more than anybody else because that's what I'm talking Can we speak about Doodle Tones who you have in a call? What about the horrendous things that they've done to uh, in videos calling out people who are smaller than them that were trying to help them? Did they reach out and get the full context before they dropped that video? Again, that person was in my chat. I saw their video. I actually used it and they happened to be in my chat. Um, what else? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, how about the fact that they've done some heinous stuff such as uh, age roleplay and uh, diaper fetish stuff? I mean, you know, that's disgusting and immoral. Do you condemn that? I've never heard you condemn that. Um, you know, it, it could lead to other other allegations too that I'm not going to say aloud, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you wanna you want a moral flag on different things and say, Oh, I'm I'm here to plant my moral flag on this hill and this is my morals and everybody else should come to my hill. I'm sorry, but people are nuanced, man. You are literally just as deranged as the people that think that they can make everybody happy in this world. I'm sorry, you cannot make everybody of every religion, race, and creed happy at the same time. It always is going to come at the sacrifice, and that's a real sacrifice, of somebody else. I mean, we can take it from race of, hey, how about a mixed race couple going out? That's not going to make a, a racist happy. Oh, but it's okay because you don't like the racist. Uh, let's talk about the fact that, um, oh, uh, Muslim culture doesn't believe you should consume pork, but you know, other people like to consume ribs and pork chops and stuff like that. So who are you going to make mad in that situation? Um, you know, let's talk about Christians and, uh, Judaism and atheism and Muslim all have different beliefs. How are you going to make all them happy? You're not. I mean, you can sit there and hold up a moral flag on easy situations where it's like, yeah, I don't want to make the racist happy. How are you going to start doing it to these other people? What if they're good people? What if they're bad people? What if the people that you agree with are the bad people? And what if the other people that you disagree with are the good people? Too much nuance, man. Friend does. And I can tell you this very bluntly because I have friends here too. I have friends in this call right now. And I have people who maybe not even consider themselves my friends here. I, I, I strongly, strongly doubt anybody should consider themselves your friend. Let's start with that. They should not consider themselves your friend. B, you're older than me. Why you got friends on the internet? Aren't you a grown adult man who sits there and has all these responsibilities and all these other things? You can't go out there and, I don't know, find friends in the real world? I could hold the mirror up to myself. But you know what? I have friends in the real world. I do. And those situations and my alignments are totally different. Like, <laughs> this is your whole life. Everything I've seen, this is your life. You work and you do this. Where's the breaks? Where's the time off? We're spending stuff with friends. Where's, uh, you know, being with your wife? Typically, I stream once a week. The only reason why I'm streaming right now is I got a particular situation occurred. And I'll talk about that at the end of the stream for anybody who cares. For example, I'll go ahead and give you a rundown. Pizza here, I don't know if he considers me a friend. I consider him something of one. I... He is actually in the toy aisle. I swear to God, I just heard a child. Right now. And I have people who maybe not even consider themselves my friends here. For example, I'll go ahead and give you a rundown. Pizza here. Did you hear that? There's a child in the background. Because I have friends here too. We were I have friends in this call right now. And I have people who maybe not even consider themselves my friends here. For example, I'll go ahead and give you a rundown. Pizza here? I don't know if he considers me a friend. I consider him something of one. If I if he thinks I'm wrong, he's up in my face about it immediately. So is busy robot hands. So is strong baby. Lord knows Weebus is. And God Monstrous is. Monstrous is with a smile on her face and a switch in her hand because she takes delight in telling me <laughs> I'm wrong. You don't. Thank you, Jim. And I know you don't. Because I've seen you will sit there to a guy you know makes comments about <laughs> raping women. Good point. Has in the past shared zoo porn. And well, you will try to be polite. Well, what are we accusing people of now? Raping? Lord knows Weebus is. And God Monstrous is. Monstrous is with a smile on her face and a switch in her hand because she takes delight in telling me I'm wrong. You don't. And I know you don't. Because I've seen you will sit there to a guy you know makes comments about raping women, has in the past shared zoo porn, and you will try to be polite to him? Oh, Crystal, 
I didn't even know you were in the chat. I was just primarily with people in the chat. Crystal will absolutely get up in my face. Crystal will tell me in front of other people to shut up. So why be polite to someone like Gilded Pooh? Is he your friend too? He's not. So why be polite to him? With all the crap you've seen him do, what he's done to other people. The... By the way, is the crystal, crystal quartz here, is that the same crystal that um, was in the Akuma call? I have to look. I have to know for myself right now. Um, Kumo, boom, this is pause you, put a live, put it here, video boom, live. out of here, and no, it's crystal, oh god, what's crystal, this is the crystal he made the video on, I can't remember, I don't know if it's the same crystal, crystal flame, that's who I'm trying to think of, I, I didn't see anything, so is crystal flame now crystal quartz? Stuff you've always had on his hard drive, why are you nice to him? There's only one Even answer. Was... Are these two different people? I'm not going to no. answer the question. Fuck. Uh... There's only one answer from you on this that I will accept one. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. No, pizza, I couldn't because I at least know why you are. Matter of fact, I have asked you those questions. And let's be honest, you're not Rin. You have a different set of values here. I'm talking about Rin compared to their own values. So what's the reason, Rin? No matter what I answer, you'd probably not accept it because, like, I'm... I'm... No, I told you I'd, it's I'd not because he's nice to me. I told you I'd accept one he, of the answer. So what's your answer? It's literally because I was trying to be professional. And no, no. You told her that you would accept, or him, sorry, again, pronounced, don't know. You told them that you would accept one answer and one answer only. Not you would accept the answer. There's a difference there. I can ask somebody and be like, do you think I'm stupid? I will only accept one answer, or I will accept the answer. It's a totally different set of circumstances, man. And at the time, with I told you I accept one of the answer. So oh my god, he exposed Victor again for what now? What is what did Victor do now? Sorry, it's side tangent. Maybe he's what's your answer? It's literally because I was trying to be professional, and at the time with the account. You I was all, you weren't professional from day one because from Will you stop interrupting people? Out of all of this, Ren has not interrupted you ever. They've waited till you've been done speaking and then answer. You cannot stop yourself from interrupting somebody. Like you cannot. You have no self control, sir. From day one. And this is what I said on Akumu's string. And I'm sure you just at the time nice to me. Watch. I told because... you I said one of the answer. So what's your answer? Oh, you're you not... said there. And you let's did be honest, say, you're not I told them I, I told you I would accept one specific answer. So uh, I want to go back to get the full context on it. Really? Yeah, I'll only accept the answer that confirms my narrative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Victor is having the worst week of the internet. No, he really is. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch Slove's stream. I think I'm a member. By the way, if anybody wants to uh, contribute uh, or whatever, here. I know I'm supposed to, like, do this stuff, but here, I'll just do this. I'm lazy. And this has everything. If you want to contribute or if you want to find any of the other stuff that I do, uh, here. There's the link tree. Boom. 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 I, I don't know. That way it's in the chat for sure. But, yeah. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to watch that. Damn, that, Jesus. One, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is. No, pizza, I couldn't, because I at least know why you are. In fact, I have asked you those questions. Why the fuck did you derail here, by the way? And let's be honest, you're not Rin. You have a different set of values here. I'm talking about Rin compared to... Yeah, if you do join Patreon, um, I am more than willing and open to, uh... <laughs> ideas and things and i do try and share and take ideas and take input from anybody on patreon and i'm thinking about um all of my content that i've had to either private or i took down for whatever reason a lot of it is just because it didn't do well all of that's going to get warehoused on patreon so you'll have access to that and everything else uh, when i when, if and whenever i do do the membership thing on here it's going to be like a super low amount and the reason for that is that um I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to provide anything additional on here for you guys um, until I get to where I can maybe do membership streams and stuff. And in that case, you know, maybe we'll cover maybe a little more edgy topics and stuff like that. I got stuff that I'm interested in, um, like uh, 
the the 420 chan and stuff like that which is really interesting um i've got stuff on dread Pri dread pirate roberts and stuff that we could eventually get into so i do have a lot of ideas that don't conform to my typical content that we could cover <laughs> Good point, Ellington. No. Oh my god, GG. Holy shit, man. And Ellington. Ellington, you've been around enough. I'm gonna make you a mod. Ooh, I'm interested in seeing that. I'm gonna have to find that. Um, if you know about it, send it to me. Like if you if you find the link or anything, please share that to me. I would be interested in that because I've talked with Gilded a couple times. The dude's a massive troll. So their own values. So what's the reason, Ren? No matter what I answer, you'd probably not accept it because like i'm i'm, I'm i told you I'd, it's I'd not because he's nice to me i told you because... I'd accept one the answer. so what's your answer she was literally in the sorry they were literally in the middle of answering it's literally because i was trying to be professional and at the time with the account you i was are... immediately jumping in they've said what i was trying to so that's Four words, five words, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve words, thirteen words, because they said the word account, and I was, so fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen words, and now you're stepping in. Okay, I'll definitely have to do that. You weren't professional from day one, because from day one, and this is what I said on Akumu stream, and I'm sure you were sweating bullets when I said it, you were the one trying to give toasty ass. How were you being professional? Because... And no problem, Ellington. I'm going to go ahead now that you give me your answer. I'll tell you what the answer I would have accepted was. They didn't even give their full answer, Lyo. You cut them off. I said it. You were the one trying to give toasty ass. How were you being professional? Because I'm going to go ahead now that you give me your answer. I'll tell you what the answer I would have accepted was. That because, because he's such a freaky weirdo, you were scared of him. I could understand that. Especially being AFAB with some of the nonsense he spouts. I absolutely could understand that. How do you know they were going to say this or not? I can be around him, being yeah, scared of him, being scared it's to have gone. Fucking ridiculous. I would have accepted that. Because despite what you wanted to paint me as and have actively done, I'm not the monster you think I am. I'll give you an example. Because you struggle with this. You genuinely struggle with owning your screw ups properly <laughs> and just admitting your problems. So Man, hot meat kettle. I'm going to make this an example. The things I said to Rosa were god awful. I was an ableist. I was a slut shamer. I said horrendous things to them I shouldn't have said to any human being. I made comments about them removing themselves from the census. I made comments about their body. I made comments about all these things because I was being a dickhead in the moment because I was angry about what they allowed. So I let it happen. I own that. Warts and all. And I regret it, which is why I own it, which is why I eat, which is why people can do a billion freaking videos about it. And I panic, I cut and I will run. I will hold myself to a higher standard. And this is your higher standard, man? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. And I will have people around me who make sure I do. You cannot do in this situation what I just did there. And I don't get why. You haven't allowed them to. Are you scared? You have not allowed Ren to even fully put out their position without cutting them off. Jesus, do you not see how you do this shit? Are you that inept? Are you that unskilled when it comes to conversation that you do not realize what you do in it? That if you actually try to hold these people accountable, they won't be your friends anymore? Yeah. Okay. I can understand that. You really think you don't deserve better friends than them? With the self worth as low as mine, it's hard to find find friends that I that probably value me. To be honest, it's not about self worth in this case. This is about the fact that it, it is absolutely about self worth in all cases. If they don't value themselves, they are not going to value themselves to then go out and find better people. They are going to accept whoever comes along. How do you miss all this, man? The correct response there, by the way, was. Look, I understand that you think your self-worth is not of the highest caliber, but it can be, and it should be. And you know what? You deserve better. And the way you can make things better and find better people is by fixing yourself, going and making sure you're safe, you're happy, and then you can 
find better people. You will automatically find better people. That was a shitty response to that. And I don't know anybody here. And I know damn well that was a better answer than what you're giving right now. Yeah, he did. He he literally c cut them off until they gave the answer that he wanted or he gave the answer that he wanted. He is literally talking himself up by being demeaning. You have standards and you let others that you consider friends violate them consistently and make excuses for them, then you don't have standards. That's what I was. I never said your father's values were yours. I said you are incongruous and you are inconsistent in whom you expect what you should. You should not accept transphobia, regardless of who it's from. I've gotten up in people's faces a little trans. You know what? <laughs> Start with Lyo. Don't accept his transphobia. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. Although I feel like it's just going to be the equivalent of a lot of other arguments. And instead of uh, pedophile, we're going to be hearing a lot of zoophile, 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 zoophile. Why you got the hard drive? Why you got the hard drive? Why you got the hard drive? Answer for your crimes. So I did it last night and I'll do it again as many times as I need to. Friend or foe, you'll align with them so long as they make you happy. So long as you think you have friends. You didn't hold yourself to it, man. You dead named somebody who is trans just in a conversation because you're not happy with how they're responding. Friends, you've got to have a better cut of friends. You have to. Because here's the thing. You want, you want to be accepted with the LGBT, right? Yeah, of course. Do you think they're going to knowing who you pal around with? No. Then do you actually- Who the fuck are you to say that? How the fuck are you going to speak on that shit? Lyle, you're, you're straight white male. <laughs> Not that race has shit to do with it, but you're a straight male. Like, you're a straight cis male. That's what I should have said. You're a straight cis male. The fuck does- The fuck weight do you have on how they're accepted- that's like me saying how they can be accepted in the LGBTQ, whatever the rest of it is. Like, how? How the fuck? Do you want to be in the LGBT or do you want to be around people who are transforms? The LGBT. Okay. What have these people done for you? Give me tangential. <laughs> Utopia. I like that. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a good name. That's a good name for a server. <laughs> things, or not tangential, like tangible, tangible things. Are you trying to say tangential? You want to be accepted with the LGBT, right? Yeah, of course. Do you think they're going to knowing who you pal around with? No. Then do you actually want to be in the LGBT, or do you want to be around people who are transforms? The LGBT. Again, what is the proof that you've shown that Kumo or Akumo, whomever you're calling transphobes here, are transphobic. Again, we have proof of you dead naming somebody. GBT. Okay. What have these people done for you? Give me tangential things, or not tangential, like tangible, tangible things. What have they done? For you? I've cried to them in calls, and they've been there for me. They, they've t let me vent to them. They, they've been there for me thick and thin, and they, they, they didn't throw me out when I was getting too much. They showed care for me. And... But they also never held you accountable. Did you? No, they didn't. No. <sighs> have you ever thrown anything away, Rim? People? No, I said, have you ever thrown anything away? Yeah, a lot of things. You ever see trash reject other trash? And I'm not saying that you are trash. My metaphor here is that, of course, they're not going to reject you. They'll take anybody. They take Tommy's house of blogs. They take whatever weirdo comes into endless server. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show this right here. <clears throat> This is an article from Healthline. I know this is something strange, like, not that I would do. You think that other people in the trans community that like to throw around the word transphobia would be doing this and have educated people already on this. This article discusses transphobia. In fact, it has transphobia defined, and it says that it's stigmatization of trans people denying their identities treats them as unequal or less human it does not have to be all of them it says describes basically if the basically it describes any attitude feeling or behavior that is one of these what do you think dead naming someone would fall under i think it falls under this right here because that's their past identity 
Lyo. So you are a transphobe. Ta-da! Proof. Regardless of whether or not they've been inappropriate around children or liked watching an eight-year-old character getting cream pied. Yeah, Tommy's house of logs is disgusting. And I, I showed Nero a screenshot of... Wait, it, I think it was Nero who showed... I don't know who showed me. Was it Nero? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Out when I was getting too much, they showed care for me. And but they also never held you accountable, did No, they didn't. No. <sighs> have you ever thrown anything away, Rem? People? No, I said, have you ever thrown anything away? Yeah, a lot of things. You ever see trash reject other trash? And I'm not saying that you are trash. My metaphor here is that, of course, they're not going to reject you. They'll take anybody. They take Tommy's house of blogs. They take whatever weirdo comes into endless server, yeah. regardless of whether or not they've been inappropriate around children or liked watching an eight-year-old character getting cream pied. So, Lyo, where's the uh, disavowal of, uh, of Tommy? He was in with your people last year, 2023. Actually, a little over a year now. Um, it would have been February of 2023 with the Rosa call. Tommy's house is the name of the account that I pointed out and was like, oh, hey, I recognize that account. They were an account that did a bunch of interviews of people against Lyo, but they were in the Senate. They were in the Rosa call. They were in the chat sitting there right along with the rest of you bullying the shit out of Rosa. Where's where's the where's the stuff on him, man? Where's the stuff on him? I just I want to hear this one more time. I know I know I'm playing it a couple times in a row. I apologize, but it's kind of fucking funny. No. <sighs> have you ever thrown anything away, Rem? People? No, I said, have you ever thrown anything away? Yeah, a lot of things. You ever see trash reject other trash? And I'm not saying that you are trash. My metaphor here is that of course they're not going to reject you. They'll take <laughs> you literally just, by the way, called them indirectly trash. Uh, not something that I missed the first time. It's just that I thought it was such an obvious call out that I just didn't even want to go for it. But I was more interested to see a point that you're going to make. Take anybody. They take Tommy's house of blogs. They take whatever weirdo comes into in love. Tommy's house of blogs. That's got to be the same Tommy says. By the way, I, I looked up. What are signs of transphobia? This was literally the first result. We could even probably go to uh, Planned Parenthood. Uh, transitioning. Transphobia. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Transmissia. Uh, again, denies the valid validity of their identity. Hmm. Look at that. And now, now I've proved it in two articles, by the way there, Lyle. You're a transphobe. Kind of feel like I'm doing a slug here by <laughs> calling people things, but <laughs> uh, I want to go here. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's Tommy's house. C L M M Y. Yeah, God, typing. It's escaped me fully. Uh, Lyle? Leo. Leo. Tommy's house. Get out of here. Yeah. Pretty sure this is the same Tommy's house. There's Nil, the person they keep talking about. Akumu. So I'm pretty sure this is the person that they're talking about. This is the same person because the same fucking uh, profile image that I even saw on the chat with Rosa. And la, oh, and let kick Tommy out of the server. Ha! Sorry, I'm gonna read chat here for a second. I will just give me a second. Lyo is displaying. Yeah. Why does this sound like a disappointed dad and a kid? Because it is a ghosty. It is. Um, at least he thinks he's a dad. He's not really, though. He cannot complete. Uh, who is he to decide who trans people can and can't be friends with? Exactly. Uh, I was insinuating that Rin isn't actually LGBT because of the friends. Yeah, exactly. I honestly feel like it. Hmm. That's nice to know, Leonington. Uh, yeah, why I was being transphobic. Where's the disavowal of Dudo Tones age play? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh and then yeah we read about emma okay plus sir yeah. regardless of whether or not they've been inappropriate around children or liked watching an eight-year-old character getting cream pied yeah tommy's house of logs is disgusting and i i showed neuro a screenshot of 
Wait, it, I think it was Neuro who showed. I don't know who showed me. Was it Neuro? Neuro, was it you? Or because uh, uh, I think it was you, and it was from a video from. Okay, yeah, and not... that comment about consent. Yeah, I that was when I was trying to get Nil a, the fuck away because I already expressed to Nil multiple times that Tommy made me uncomfortable because he pings around Carmen Rider, but it, this isn't just about Tommy. That's about spar danger. In fact, I got word from somebody that some of the people that you hang around are mad that you're here at all. Has anybody reached out to you other than that one person to see if you're okay, Ren? I don't know. I, do I, I'm on my account. I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone. How do you not know? Because I'm on my phone and in the closet. I, I'm not downstairs where I could switch accounts. I can't I check. So they don't know about this account then? They do. It's just like they... And what I don't know what they said to me. I, hold, on, hold on, I know that if they know you're here, then they know you're here on this account. So go ahead, um, minimize the call real quick and see how many messages you have. Um, uh, he, this man. Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm like an aficionado. I don't even understand how Steam technically works at points. Like I've just learned things today, even. Um, but I, I have a basic understanding of what they're saying here about switching accounts and there's a lot of things that you can do in discord on a computer that you cannot do on a phone or that are vastly different on a phone so the fact that he doesn't understand they're saying they cannot switch accounts on their phone like bro listen to the words that are coming out of their mouth like i can't go downstairs to my laptop my dad Rin, will get Rin, listen to me they know about this account yes yeah. They know you are in this call on that account, yes? Yeah. So if they wanted to contact you, what account would they be messaging, right? Um, here? The one you're on, right? So you don't Not need to Not necessarily. Go if they're friends to... and have pre-established conversations with the other one, who's to say they wouldn't message on that one? Like, or that they're trying to not bother the person. Go to your laptop. All you need to do is minimize the call you're in right now. And check to see if anybody's messaged you, which is what I've asked you it's to do. Like, this There's, is such a false... um, Heratui, which is Frick, um, Neuro, um, my best friend who is outside of this, unlisted, uh -huh. um, Crystal Omega, who messaged me about a potential escape, which I appreciate. I, I don't know if that's possible right now. Um, your DMs and then the GC with me and Frick and Neuro and Frick? Rabbit. Okay. You notice how Akumu, Kumo, and none of those other people are there? I understand Rabbit being there. Rabbit's in the call right now. I also understand freaking Neuro being there because they've been your friends. Actual friends, believe it or not. Because Neuro made it very clear to me they're not going to let you skate around the things you've done. And they haven't. This entire time, they haven't said a word to me. And if they thought I was wrong, I'm sure they would. There have been so many calls. Well, the thing is, Neuro, you still could tag me like you just did there. I have had so many instances with Jordan where Jordan has been in calls they shouldn't have been, and I have been worried for them and constantly message you get out of those calls. And not with somebody they wronged, but with other people who are written. Or, you know, they could be like, well, they're a grown adult. They're doing what they want to do. They can do it, and then we can talk about it afterwards. I have had friends that I know are doing stupid shit, and I've told them, not a good idea, and then that's it. I recently did it this week with somebody who's not even a friend. Like, I literally told somebody, hey, guess what? <laughs> hey, Belinda, how you doing? I want to be alive for a while. <laughs> I've made it approximately 37 minutes, and it's taken me, holy fuck, four hours. Um, <laughs> and I'm guessing I still have approximately the same amount of time. So I might be going until four in the morning. Who knows? Oh, man. But, uh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this is going to take forever. But, like, I, I, I'm sorry, but people are adults. They can do things on their own. Like, they, they can handle their own responsibilities. If they've kept themselves alive long enough past the age of 18, and they've made it to 20, I consider themselves, I consider them to be self-sustaining adults at that point. If you're able to keep yourself alive... For a year, out of school, without mommy and daddy preparing lunch for you, or giving you lunch money, 
Like, <laughs> like, uh, Jesus. But yeah, no, I, I seriously had somebody this week that I sat there twice and I told them what they did in hindsight that was a bad idea. And I told them not to do something that was a bad idea. And they decided to listen to me on one thing and not listen to me. Well, the other one was hindsight. So, but yeah, um, actually there was three situations. They listened to me on one of the situations and didn't listen to me. Well, one of them again was hindsight and didn't listen to me on the other. So people are adults. They're going to do what they want. You know, <laughs> good Melinda. Yeah, I'll, I'm probably going to be a while. So, oh, lovely. We haven't even gotten to the threats. <laughs> I've just been critiquing him and he's been nice. Because <laughs> yes, I cared about Jordan. These people only care about you in so much as you're around sometimes. At least that's what I think. Now, they may disagree and they're welcome to. And you know what? You could honestly sit there and say that you cared about Jordan and Jordan didn't give a flying fuck about you, man. But you need a better caliber of friends because these friends you have just enable the worst of your behaviors. I think you know that, don't you? At this point, yeah. How many of these friends, Kumo, Akumu, all these, Nil, all these other people, how many of them have tried to get you to therapy? How many of them have tried no, to pay for your therapy? Yes. No, no. B pay for me? No. Yeah. Um, no. I, Nil has been there, though. Uh, Kumo is... Yeah. Be Again, adult. Why would I have to... I can tell somebody, look, you need to go get help. You need to take care of yourself. You need to talk to somebody. I'm not going to pay for them <laughs> and I could care for them. The only person I'm responsible for paying for and taking care of in that respect would be my wife. That's who I'm going to take care of. That's who I'm going to pay for. Like a friend. Uh, yeah. As much as I may care about that friend, they may be the best friend in the world to me. I may try to do what I can, but there's only so much. If I'm not in a position to help them without killing myself or harming myself, is that really a healthy way to go about it? Be blunt. You need to run from Nil. Nil is unstable and just dangerous. Where's the proof? Nil sent a message about how much they want to be in a cat slayer call to the point that where they're hoping we make them so upset that they put a gun in their mouth over something we didn't even do. That's fucked up. Um, sorry, my phone is blinking because sometimes when I'm <laughs> when I'm on call and it's I'm gonna constantly ta tap on the screen. I I have warned you. I have warned you for years, Ben, for two years about the friends you have and about what they do and about where they will drag you and look where you are. Okay, does anybody, anybody like who's in here from the art side of the community, like, do you guys know how old Ren is? Like, I, I understand that they're young and they're still living at home, but like, I'm assuming that they're, uh, they're not going to school. They're going to college, I thought they said. At one point, they, they said they were going to college, so I'm assuming they're probably 18, 19. <laughs> Pudding, you got a point. Oh, man. You could have avoided this two years ago. Why do you think I tell you to not have friends like this? Do you think it's because I don't think you should have friends at all? At one point, I was very paranoid, and I thought you did actually want to isolate but that was Rain. a wrong assumption okay. because I... 20. Rain, if I, I wanted to isolate you, if I wanted to huh? isolate you, I would have just called your dad. Who the fuck are you to do that? Because you did give me his number. One of the first messages you sent me on text. Yeah, that that was stupid of me. Yeah. <laughs> Ren, good fucking point. It was also very foolish of you to act like a victim over okay, me talking you to your mother. Here. Okay. Like I called her out of the blue, which you only corrected once you were backed into a wall and forced to. Which is why I thoroughly believe that you just want to think I'm a monster. Because you lied to Teddy. You lied on the stream. You lied about all this until you found out I had a recording. You know what a really funny thing is? You'll sit there and you'll push the idea that I'm an abuser, but you still think you should have a space in my comment section to talk? And then get really upset when I tell you to beat it. Do you really think you're entitled to that after saying stupid crap about me? No, you're right. Then why... Why did you... You've said a lot of stupid crap about them. You get up at you with me about it. Where did this entitlement come from? I was, I was very angry with how snappy you were in conversations. Didn't involve you, and I don't. I gave you multiple times to exit. And I... 
Okay, but they can still be mad at how you handled yourself. You're being mad at how they handled themselves. I gave you one final ultimate. If you didn't beat it, I was going to block you on the channel. And then you got upset that I put up a boundary, a consistent problem with you. Mm -hmm. Albinum, Rin, if I was the monster you desperately wanted me to be, why haven't I been worse to you? Why didn't I dox you to your parents? Why didn't I pull them out and let them... Bio doesn't know what the meaning of the word dox is, does he? Does he know what doxing is? Oh, I'm going to pull a fucking slug here. Here we go. Uh, social security number, passport number, driver's license number, taxpayer identification number, uh, patient identification number, financial account, uh, credit accounts, uh, more items. Let's go there. I'm not giving me a the website. Uh, da -da -da. I'm looking for bullet points, so I'm probably not going to. Um, there we go. Uh, we read through the first one. Address, phone number, biometric records, photographic, uh, x-rays, fingerprints, retinal scans, voice signature, facial geometry. <clears throat> information that when combined with other information, like listed above, would then collaboratively uh, would be used collaboratively. To identify a specific individual, for example, date of birth, place of birth, release, religion, geographical indicators, employment information, medical, educational, and financial. What were you going to dox their parents who gave birth and raised them for 20-something years? How are you, Lyo Convoy, going to dox a young adult to their parents? Are you fucking kidding me, you goddamn asshole? <laughs> I know. I have a lot of issues with the closed captioning and everything. <laughs> it's not the greatest. It gives you the gist of it. It's a lot better than watching closed captionings on like a, a dubbed uh situation, but like or like a, a an English dubbed like uh Korean movie or Japanese movie, because that's when you really get uh <laughs> that's when you really get interesting. He loves saying he doesn't dox. Yeah, true. He says that a lot. <laughs> this isn't private. Yeah. 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 That's true. Very true, Jim. I don't know what you were doing. You're not Heck, a why did... No, I asked if I am the one you think I am. Like, here's the thing I have noticed about people like you. And I mean, people I've tried to help. Every single one of you really like the idea of the minute I don't give you the answer you want, you act like. And I do mean every single one of you. Jordan did it. You did it. Septi did it. Jay did it, Opal did it, Aaron did it, Lumi did it. Have you thought about the fact that you may be the problem here, Lyle? Nil did it. I sat there. This is an exceedingly long list of people who apparently do this kind of stuff and uh, <laughs> then have issue with it. Um, like, okay, I'm going to say something to you that you have now said to Ren. Do you think that you're hanging around the correct people? Do you think these people value you? Yet you continue to hang around them and help them to your detriment. Maybe you should get better friends, Lyo. Maybe you should get better family, as you like to put it. On a stream with people I know are saying god awful things about me. And they're sitting there written, begging me to call the police to get no help while they're trying to eliminate themselves on a live stream. And then after I do, they immediately go back to being scumbag. Every last one of them. Exactly, Jim. I'm done helping people like that. I'm done helping. I hope for your sake, this is the last time you and I will speak. If you are smart, in the sense that you have self-preservation, you will do what you said you just certainly haven't before, because I've heard this rigmarole. I've heard the, I just want to do my art. I don't want to inter interfere with SCC people. I've heard that from you already. For a year, I am tired of people like you abusing my kindness. Because that's what you did. I sat there for a year, keeping tabs on you, making sure you were okay, communicating with you, checking in on you while you were supposed to be touching grass, trying to interact and make real world friends, get therapy and everything else and you went behind my back each time to get back online in a space you know was wrong and here's where i'm gonna be a little blunt neurofunk has made it very clear they want to try to help you they talked to me about it today in fact and you know what i told them ren i told them that they're gonna fail 
And I told them it's not because of them. They're not going to fail because they're not equipped or because of a lack of knowledge on their end. They're going to fail because you don't want to change. I don't think you want to get better. I think this is, again, temporary. I think right now you are playing nice and you're pretending to take your lumps while still trying to be obstinate until you finally get back into a corner. I think you're going to turn around and go right back to just the first opportunity you get. And I'm making that very clear to you because I will no longer be helping you. I will no longer be nice about it. None of that. <laughs> I'm not oh, going to put you in danger. Point. I'm not a monster as much as you desperately want me to be because God forbid I hold you accountable. God forbid I try to get you the actual help you need. God forbid I tell you your friends aren't as good as you want to think they are, that maybe you shouldn't be friends with transphobes and hateful people. My God, trying to be professional with some weirdo who makes rape comments to women, you know better. We both do. Please. And here's it again. Because I, I, I keep coming back to things because I didn't make a list. And if I had, it would have been inaccessible anyways because I'm not at home because my power is out last I checked. You didn't have the temerity to sit there and tell me that you do care about these things. And that the reason why you released that Google Doc is because it's your story to tell. I do not disagree with the idea that you should be able to talk about your hurt, your pain, how you were abused. I wanted everybody to be able to do it. You may have killed that chance for other people. Because you figured, well, if Lyo is an abuser and I can paint him as one, I don't have to do what he says. It doesn't matter his rationale or reason. It doesn't matter that my actions will hurt other people who are also victims of it, per record, to a much higher degree by the sheer number of things that have been drawn about them. Like the fact that these creeps commissioned things of me and my family, Rin. And I told you, wait. And the reason I told you, wait, was because I was hoping the other people would have the chance to file reports, Rin. And you may have blown that for Telling your truth, telling your story is 100% valid, but sometimes you have to think bigger picture. I didn't even want to initially deal with the false accusations of abuse towards me because I knew, I knew if I did, any chance those people had of having a normal online life would be shot because I would have to expose them as liars. I would have to expose them as manipulators and grifters. I want to. It's despite people trying to twist my words in that Senate call, when I said, now I'm going to have to embarrass them because I didn't want to win. Do you think I liked doing it? Do you think I liked knowing the fact that these people I took care of, that I had in my home, that I got away from awful situations, were trying to paint me as an abuser and letting other people run with that idea, even up to calling me a groomer? you think I liked that? <laughs> I hope you're never in the position I've been in. And for the record, yes, I am telling you they need to make that video because I don't think you're going to stop. I have no faith in you. I wish Neurofunk the best, and I'll repeat it again. I don't think they're going to fail because of them. I think they're going to fail because of you. Now, I've not raised my voice. I have not yelled at you. I've taken a stern tone, got a little gravelly. But if I continue to see you in these spaces, there will be consequences. If I continue to see you weaponizing against other people, if I continue to see you interacting with people you claim are against your values, you and I are going to have a much bigger problem on a much larger scale. And this is completely divorced from you. If you two have settled that, good. I'm glad and I'm proud of both of you for it. But if you ever wind up pulling these stunts again and trying to go after the people I care about needlessly, because it was, let's not play games here. The way you conducted yourself has been asinine and it has certainly not been in the benefit of victims. It's been in the benefit of you. And if I catch I that again, we're going to... What? I disagree, but you're allowed to have your opinion. Oh, so... What you said earlier about how you used the platform to go at people you were angry at wasn't true. It Gal, was... they had rent. They had to make an entire. Oh my God! He goes right back to cutting them off. Why can't people let people speak, say what they want, say what they mean, and then respond? Conversations can happen organically. You could still get your point across while maybe not liking the other person and all that like and maybe disagreeing with them you could still get your point across in a normal conversational manner like this man cannot fucking do he could not do it he's taking his ball and go home that's it guys wow man is done helping <laughs> and <laughs> uh yeah i mean he does have a point about uh Ren getting off the internet, but again, I, I say to that that he needs to hold the mirror up and look at himself. Hey, honey, I gotta go to McDonald's. Yeah, the one in the Walmart down the road. Uh, <laughs> I have to yell at a mentally ill person again. <laughs> yeah, no.
I'll be back. <laughs> Lyle is literally running an underground railroad for mentally <laughs> ill artists. <laughs> Jesus, you're right, Jack. <laughs> oh my god. Separate account because of you. Because of you. Because you couldn't manage it. Or did you forget that? I didn't. So so tell me if you did so good, why would they need to make a secondary account, Ren? I apologize and I I, I understand the criticism. I'm not saying that you don't care about people being preyed on. I'm not dumb. I know your history. I know you do. My point is you did not actually care about this specific thing. You saw an opportunity to attack people you didn't like. That's evidence by the actions and by the reactions. Because I'm not going to tell you who, but we actually did have a call with one of the victims. And they made it very clear the other victims were not happy with how you conducted that entire charade. Weren't happy with Akumu either. Or Kumo. They wish people with more sense had covered this. Because step one... Step one of covering stuff like this, Bren, is contacting the people affected. I wasn't done. Wait. Bristol, did any of that play out to you like they were? I did too. I did. Go ahead, Ren. Tell Crystal. Wait, what? I, I didn't because I was afraid that the evidence would be covered up. Like, but at the same time, that you was didn't. a huge mistake, and I get it. You did? Hold on. You thought the evidence would be covered up if you spoke to the victims? Yeah, because last time when I tried to go after Toasty, one of the victims was d d going against the video and stuff like that. Chris, I'm going to handle this portion over to you. You're more qualified to handle this. Uh, uh, I was yeah. under the, the preconception that the victims were beat out to. Yeah, so as someone who is also... Jesus fucking... So in the call that Lyo was referring to... Yeah, apparently, according to the victim that we had spoken to, um, yeah, Akumu, or Akumu and Rin here just kind of took the stories and ran with them themselves. Which is why I was under the notion for such a long time that neither did care. Now, I don't know Rin's back, I don't know Rin's history like, like Lyo does, but that's why I was going around saying that neither cared about the victims. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on Kumu, I'm just going to comment on Ren as they're here. So. I'm just saying. When it, that's... To, when it comes to victims, as a victim myself, as someone who has still a glitch cell situation, Ren, you, you see cases, you see victims, you, of course, you get the evidence, you compile the evidence beforehand, and then you reach out to them, you talk to them, you check if it's okay to use their story. You can say it as a general sense in relation to the FCK, that this is the server where had multiple people who were sexual around children as they were. It was just prayed, it was disgusting, and a lot of people should have done a lot more. And I, that is something for a very different day, for a very different talk. With any okay, I'm going to call bullshit here on uh, Crystal Flame, uh, Doodle Tones, and Lyo, all three of them. Uh, now, I can't really say much as far as, like, uh, what Doodle Tones is saying in or agreement or not with this, but do you think your local news contacts every victim of every situation before putting the story out there? How about we talk about situations like Bill Cosby? Do you think every victim of Bill Cosby was contacted before the story went out there? What happens if they weren't able to find the contact information? What happens if they didn't know about a victim? So can they not put the story out there? I mean, that's kind of a little fucked, if you, if I do say so. Not gonna lie, at everyone in the Senate, I feel like Queen Serafina was overlooked since she was involved in a lot of awful things the Senate have done as far as Jackson Rosa call, for example. Yeah, I've heard Queen Serafina had quite a bit of involvement. It seems their name comes up quite a bit, and I know that... Uh, Queen Serafina, wasn't, weren't they the initial reason why Gilded Pooh was even involved in any of this? Can we go to New Girl Worthless Africa? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I'm sorry, but there's been so many times, like, your local news, the people that are covering the people that you live with, they don't always go to the victims of every situation. They may take information and go with it. They may have anonymous sources. Um, 
you know, like, do you think, uh, okay, if let's put it this way, if they have a whistleblower on a case, do you think that they're going to contact the business necessarily? Cause sometimes guess what? Yeah. People cover shit up. People will destroy evidence. There's people that, um, could be uh like almost like a Stockholm syndrome for lack of a better way to say it that like uh they they uh feel some sort of way whether it be friendly or they have an alliance with the person that is causing direct harm to them oh that's good nice to know Serafina and Gilda squashed that I I'm just I believe that was what kicked everything off with this whole thing with Gilda's involvement and in all of this anyway but like I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't have people, it. but you talk to the victims. There's many victims of the glitch cell crew that I couldn't forward their story, that it was very concrete proof that I couldn't use because the victims told me not to. Does that suck completely? Yes. But as I got on Peaches and Lumi's ass for, don't take a victim story or voice a victim story without their consent. You saw how frustrated I got with them, Vin. You saw my anger. And the reason I've been giving you support and giving you understanding... I mean, I... by the same logic, could you sit there and you would say that you wouldn't cover a fucking, uh... Oh, like a murder story. Because you couldn't speak to the victim anymore. You couldn't get their consent. Like, what happens if somebody is so abusive they drive somebody to kill themselves? You can't get that uh, that victim's consent. Are you going to just not tell their story? Like... <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, but, like, you know, there's, there's so many situations where, like, you're not going to be able to necessarily speak to the victim. You know, what happens if they for whatever reason changed their name changed their number moved um got married got divorced like you you gonna go through are you guys seriously going through and trying to find all these people through uh like private investigators to find out who they are no you're reaching out to people who you can and what happens if their accounts deactivated you just don't tell their story so how many stories are you guys not telling how many people are you then covering up for because you can't tell that story in your logic. It was under the precondition that you asked the victim. There was no victims asked at all in the FCK, Rin. Did you ask a single victim? Beforehand, no. I didn't ask a So what, what was the... What was... It was a Discord server that people could join. They were saying this shit in public. This shit was happening in, in theory. I mean, you could say it's in public. I mean, it'd be no different than... Um, Oh, well, just going back to my previous story, there was Discord leaks of um, people that were never involved with that furry convention that I covered, okay? That w committed heinous acts, okay? To the fact that the uh, actual Discord got leaked. Do you think that all of those people were contacted? Because I know damn well the person who I talked to didn't get contacted by the news before that stuff was leaked. And their name was associated with that directly this would be like you know uh hershey's discord server and there's a whole bunch of fucking pedophiles running around in it and them not contacting hershey's for a comment like that's literally the type of situation that happened obviously not that but these people were like arrested for murder and terrorism and this shit got leaked like you can it's just it's that is just yeah, bullshit to me because then you're covering up shit. You're lying for people to some extent. You're covering for them. Because you can't tell the story. And not only that, how many other people are you putting in harm's way by not telling that story? I mean, we can go that whole route that I haven't even talked about yet. What's the FCK for them? Because I'm I was glad trying... it happened. I'm glad people are informed. But I was under the precondition that you were friends with one of the victims. Or you had a, like one of them came to you to be like, can you help me speak about this? Can you help me tell my truth? Because that's how I did it. <sighs> as many stories I couldn't, because I wasn't given permission to. So, how did how did it begin? Explain that to me, please. Okay. Dur during that, 
the reason why was also because I, f I felt guilty for taking down the video on Toasty because I, I was gaslit by Junkie and and the others by saying by dislike bombing and people lying to me and i i i felt horrible for what i did to teddy and f for taking down the video and voicing my anger behind the scenes and being extremely overkill i i i did everything i c and th then i went to the fck and saw everything, and it was worse than I ever imagined it. I, I was doing everything in my power to make up for it, and I was afraid that if I confronted them, that yeah. I th th that they would be in, in a terrible mental position. Let's also talk about the fact that this is a young adult, okay? They're not going to make always the correct choices. Crystal Flame, you sound like you're a bit older than this individual here. I'm sure you've got a couple more years. Lyle, I know you're older than them. You've stated roughly how old you are and how precisely how old you are several times. Um, you know, Doodle, I believe you're several years older than them. Uh, you're closer to 30 than you are ever going to be 20 again in your life. All of you people are much older and therefore much more experienced with this. Did you reach out to them and say, hey, I just want to make sure, are you doing this right? Hey, I just want to make sure, did you cover all your bases here? I don't want to see you get in trouble. I don't want to have to have a Senate or a cat's lair, the fuck ever that shit is. I'm still kind of sus on that name. Did you ever do any of that shit for them? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're too young and too vulnerable to be doing this shit in the first place. You're absolutely right, Jim. They shouldn't be doing this shit. But the fact is, is that they did it. They've already done it. They... There's no going back on it. You can't change the past. But now we're going to hold them responsible for stuff that they didn't do in the past. Instead of saying, well, you know what? Um, I don't think you should be doing this stuff in the future. Or, hey, if you're going to do this stuff in the future, this is what you need to do. This is how you properly handle it. Now you're condemning them for their actions yet again. And again, it's just somebody that, like, can we really truly fully sit here and say, yep, they knew exactly what they were doing. Yep. They're fully responsible for this. Yep, they've done it before, so they know better. If you don't know better, how the fuck are you going to learn? Okay, so Crystal is a bit closer. Okay, I know Doodles is, what, I think 27, if I, I remember correctly from what I've heard. And I know Lyo is almost 10 years older than that, if not 10 years older than that. So, like, it's just a matter of uh, much more experienced people sitting there going, well, you should have known. To somebody that they didn't offer that exact same help to position i just they would be in a i didn't know what to do and i was irrational but they would be in a terrible mental I... state either or because again you're still voicing their trauma you're voicing their experiences voicing what they've probably pushed down or i do agree that i again i am very glad it's being covered i'm very glad it's being talked about I'm extremely annoyed that it was looked past for a multitude of years, but that it wasn't even prefaced with the idea of a victim coming forward or you reaching out to a victim, either or just explaining the seriousness of it. I'm flummoxed. I, because the, how how it was expressed to me for so long, it was it was like yeah, the victims. Vic and I'm sorry, Crystal, but it sounds like you misinterpreted how things were expressed to you. But at the same time, Crystal, did you reach out to check with them to make sure that they're, you just went off an assumption? So your assumption led you to believe this. You didn't follow up on that assumption. Re victims are reclaiming their stories, but man, I assumed it was reclaiming their stories from the FCK, from the people who exposed them to this, but no. It was reclaiming their stories from you. They somebody, what, else is literally, they somebody else is handling that. Literally what I did with Jibs. I literally had to help Jibs with Lumi and Peaches. And now to know that you've done the same thing to multiple other vic multiple victims. That you've put them in a position where they felt like they had to speak up. Because, and, and they, God knows if they were ready. God knows if they wanted it to be spoke about now. Because it's, it's one of those situations where it's a, Incredibly shitty.
it's really hard, but you need to make sure that victims are informed first and foremost, or talked to, or just comforted, or anything, not just... Well, comfort is something you do after. You didn't ask them if they comforted them after. You didn't after, ask if they spoke to the victims after. That's an after thing. I can comfort you all day, and if I shove a knife into your chest, you're still going to be quite startled. Like, comfort is an after. No matter how much you comfort before, it's not going to matter. And again, you're condemning somebody for something that they've already done that has actually been deleted. Yes, granted, look, the videos are out there. The story's out there. But where was where are these people sitting there saying that this is false? That I've not heard a very strong voice on. Um, you know, where are you guys amplifying them as far as saying like, hey, this wasn't X and Y's choice, regardless of their screen name or whatever you want to use to identify them. Like, exactly. They're expecting Rin to do stuff that journalists don't do. Exactly, Jim. And it's stuff that, do they do? Have they reached out? Did they reach out to Rosa and say, hey, we're going to have a call where we're going to call you a lot of awful shit? I uh, just want to let you know beforehand. You victimized Rosa. Hey, Stick, how you doing? Um, like, you know, there's so many of these situations. Did you call a, Did you call Ren before this and say, hey, Ren, we're going to make a video on you. We're going to have a call on you. And we're going to expose everything that you've done wrong to a bunch of people. Hope you know. I doubt you did. Straight away, like, if you're going to do it straight away, you file the police reports. You file, like, you do everything beforehand. So even if it doesn't go public, you've still done the legally right thing, which you have done. I will give you that. You have generally done that. You've shown me that you've done that. And I'm glad that you have. You've used the right channels to report that server. And I'm really glad that you did do that. But it's just, I just, it feels a bit backwards. It, it feels a bit backwards, Vin, if I'm being honest. Fair enough. This so, is, sorry, you, go ahead, Crystal. Have you talked to the victims like Teddy and anything like that? I'd be like, what, what has been their thoughts on this? Their thoughts were that um, they were annoyed, but that I was apologetic and I, I apologized to Mimi and they seemed to, they were okay with it. Yeah, but yeah, they, I. So you just, you just condemned them with all this stuff and the victims were okay with it in hindsight. So the fuck are we even having this conversation for? Yeah. They need to learn. They've now learned. They learned through their own actions, actually, before they ever got into this call. You've taught them nothing. They learned on their own. Hey, this was a bad thing. Hey, I pissed people off. I had to apologize. They were happy I did it in the end run, but they were mad at how I did it. Now I know for next time how to do this different. I did apologize to them profusely. Was this before or after you used the account to constantly talk about me? For like the 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 outing? No. Me, 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 me. Jesus Christ. Did you again, did you contact Ren to say you were gonna do all of this? Because from what I seen, you sat there and you told them, Hey, it's gonna be a call between just you and Yun or Un or whatever. If only Teddy was here to read my joke. <laughs> when you um, talked to these victims, was it before or after you started talking about me? On before. The because I just got word that you had to be coaxed into filing police reports. And I know the person who's telling me this is being truthful. Huh. So I'm going to ask you to verify. Did you have to be coaxed into filing those police reports? Yeah. I'm just, I'm. I was afraid because the, the 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 legal case was ruined because it was four years ago as a statute limitations and uh, and also because I I I wanted to I was afraid that it wouldn't go nowhere and you why were you afraid it wasn't for you you were afraid it was going to go nowhere so you had to be okay so you're afraid it was gonna nowhere so you had to make a twitter account and no i got this <laughs> please we please that it was going to go nowhere so you had to be co convinced to 
make a police report, you do know if you did nothing, it would also go nowhere. You are arguing a negative. You are worried it was going to go nowhere, so you had to be coaxed into making a police report, which would make it go somewhere. Even that's not necessarily. If it's past the statute of limitations, it's going to go into a garbage can. That's the farthest it'll go into a folder to be stuffed in a filing cabinet to be forgotten about because it's beyond the statute of limitations, which is something that they obviously looked into. Ren looked into this, which I will give them credit for. And you know what? As far as going to the next step, which was then putting it out there on a Twitter, if it is beyond the statute of limitations, then they're at least making it public knowledge because they know the police are not going to do anything about it. What is so fucking wrong with this? How many times do you do this? How many times do you put public call outs on people and put public or inform the public as you would call it probably? And it's all when, when does it take place? Do you know that the police are taking action on it? If the police are taking action on it, then why are you doing your video? Because again, to Ren's case, you could then theoretically lead them to destroy evidence. They could destroy the whole case. Just because you have screenshots doesn't mean that your stuff is going to be taken as gospel. Because guess what? Screenshots can't be traced. I can't sit there and show screenshots from a Discord and say, hey, this for sure is this person. Look at all the shit that had to take place to prove that Mr. Sen was actually the person in the Discord conversation and how long that took. Now, mind you, it would have been a lot quicker, sure, if a police department's looking into it, but are they going to look into it if it's beyond the statute of limitations? Are they going to look into it if it's on the cusp of the statute of limitations? I've had situations where a lawyer will tell you, no, it's too close to the statute of limitations. We're not going to be able to prove or build a case before the statute is exceeded. Exactly. And you know, that's another fucking point, Jim. Yeah, Ren making it public might actually reach victims or within the statute of limitations. And they may then reach out to Ren and say, hey, I saw your video. I'm also involved in this. And then Ren can go, oh, great. Guess what? You're within the statute of limitations. Now we can actually do something about this. Let's go to the police. La da 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 da. And off they fucking go. It's just, fuck. The double standards here are incredible small chance when when i filed my police report against arty and fear against my groomers i had it in the back of my head it would probably go nowhere because we know how the legal system works again were you within the statute of limitations you're also in a different country from what i understand uh i know slimmers was in america most of this takes place in America, so the American statute of limits and the American laws are going to be greatly different from the stat statute of limitations and the laws in the UK. So to sit there and compare a case and compare situations, you cannot. But with that being said, it still gives it a chance. Felt that. A small chance of it going somewhere. And you said nothing so far about statute of limitations. Why did you have to be coaxed into it, Ren? Why did you have to be coaxed into it? That's, that's They've the already thing given that answer. Do. I thought you did that on your own being, and you were just confused, and that's why, Ren. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't have to. <sighs> There's been many times I've had conversations with Raya where I felt like he was being too hard, and I didn't get it. Hey so Sierra, how you doing? Him. I'm gonna read Sierra's message here. It says hi. Uh, I used to respect. Uh, Lyo, but after he went after he went all out on Rosa Ray Ramsey and now Ren and it made me no longer trust him because he's trashing on people with disabilities his, his trashing on people with disabilities is very wrong uh, the hard R is bad yeah he's done quite a bit of awful stuff here that I've seen especially with double standards and you know he's talking there about or he's talking to them about uh, uh, transphobia and then sits there and literally is transphobic to Ren. Like, yeah, it depends on whether the evidence is actionable. Yeah, exactly. So, like, again, screenshots are not going to go anywhere. Again, I, I, I defer back to the whole send situation that I covered. The screenshots were not trusted. It wasn't until they got the actual logs. And then from the logs, they had to get the ID. And then the ID, they had to then tie back the ID to send, say, yep, this was actually Sen, 
and it took forever to do. Again, not a police department doing it, probably could have done it a lot quicker, but how long do you think it's going to take to do that? Because then a police department has to sit there and actually file like, hey, we need to subpoena these records. We need to then get these records to an analyst. The analyst has then got to do all the work that was done by community members to do that. <laughs> oh, Lyle's very wrong. Very wrong, GG. Involve myself in situations. I don't want to involve myself in the SCK. Because again, it's being handled now by the appropriate channels. But man, to know that you were coaxed into making a police report that you didn't ask the victims for permission that you didn't do anything like this i'm amazed that lyo has been so graceful in this chat i just sorry this for where, interrupting this, you lyo huh? you can go oh this is this is where i say one specific thing i've had a lot of people tell me that my behavior from the roads call hasn't changed but here's the kicker Randy, you're very lucky very 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 lucky but I don't operate like I used to in Phoenix. You know that. Mm -hmm. It's called what the it's called. I have people on another server right now who kind of wish I would toss it to them because they're very hungry for ramen. I'm choosing not to right now. Right now. Because you are in a very dangerous place. And I know if I do it. I know if I toss you in there. You'll be out on your butt tonight. Because they will not be kind. They will not be patient. They will not be having a calm conversation with you. They are going to snatch you. They would snatch you up by your short hairs, and they would eat you alive. I'll be back. So while they're probably going to be tagging me in the chat soon, like, Ree, why don't you give us this meat? This meat? I'm not doing you out of your safety. Because the consideration I'm showing for you, more than consideration you, shoot, you showed for these victims. All the while, and I hate having to use this word, because it is absolutely used, very much so, by the people you like. But all the while, I'm sitting here grandstanding on your Twitter about me. And how I don't care for victims. I'm not going to pretend like the way I've treated them has always been good. It certainly has. Jibs is a good testament to that in multiple ways. I was not prepared to properly deal with them. In that case, Pete's a lot smarter than me on that. Probably about a lot of other things too. But I'm not going to pull the stunts you have. This is why I say you don't care, Rin. Did Akumu ask any of the victims before making that video? He is really hung up on Kumu and Akumu. He has got a hate heart on for them. God damn it. Yes or no? No. No. Take care. How is this about the victims? <laughs> Rin, I am sitting on so much crap right now. I would love to wrap, metaphorically, my fingers around the necks of certain scumbags. And the reason I haven't is because the people who have been victimized by them have not given me clearance to do so. And these beads are people who have harmed multiple people. And I would love so again, you're going to allow these people to then go on to harm other people in the same logic. Motherfucker. Holy shit. What is wrong with you? Do you not see that? And I know you have to know it because you preached this before. You've talked about this. To do it, but I will not until I get clearance from every single person involved, which is why I told you to sit on it. I would hate to sit there and see somebody that's been driven to self end game because of the situation and you would do nothing now because, oh, I couldn't get their permission. What are you going to do? Go to the family and say, hey, I'm Lyle Convoy. I build models online and I am a very, 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 very angry person. And I'm here to take up the side of your son or daughter and say, all these things are bad. Come on, man. And if they say no, then what? You're just going to allow these people to continue to exist by your logic. Sierra says, uh, I can say that I'm on Ren's side as I'm trans myself. Plus, I feel for both Ren and Rosa being a person with disabilities as well. Uh, what Lyo did by going after those two really set you off. Yeah, I can. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it because I wanted you to hurt or because I wanted to disregard your concerns. I didn't. Because you have gone through awful things. And these people making art, taking light at that, joy at it, are disgusting. And I literally wish for death on them. And I'm not going to apologize for that. So if this ever does go to YouTube and have people saying I haven't changed, nah, I ain't going to change about that. That maintains. You may have taken that from them. Because if you're...
It took me forever to get here that honestly, Lyo, you threatening people with death? It's not even the worst thing you've done. You're such a fucking hypocrite, man. In the world, you're the only one who matters. It's why you'll excuse terrible things other people do so long as they're your friends. And you're hung up on this position you've circled And it's around. why you'll run with false accusations you're of looping. abuse so long as it's somebody you don't like. And now we're back to the false accusation. And me, 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 me again. Efron probably has some things he wants to say to you right now. I'm going to let him take the mic for now, simply because I need a time to cool off for a moment. I am not about to listen to this motherfucker. Nope, nope. When I said you... Nope, not listen to this fucking nerdy-ass fucking high on his own phone. I think one of the reasons why the... ...shows that, you know, you do feel bad for your actions. It, it shows you care. I, I personally believe that. That is my personal belief. Um, I will... Um, it, you first. I will ask, um, is there... Aside from financial, because I can't pay, because my father is controlling my finances now, and he does not want me giving money to anyone whatsoever. It doesn't matter if it's helping someone, he told me, word for word, I cannot help anybody. I can't even help myself. So, is there any way to make up for anything? In the way you want to. Because here's a question I have been asked to ask. Do you think one of the reasons why the victim said they were fine with you continuing the account is because they already felt like the damage has been done? What did you say? Do you think the reason that the victims told you they were okay with the account after it came online was because they figured the damage had already been done? You're making an assumption, Lyo. You have no idea. Did you ask the victims? Did you get the information from the victims that that's exactly how they felt? How many victims said that? Was it an overwhelming number or was it an underwhelming number? Was it one person that said that or was it five people that said that? Like, Jesus, man. Oh. I think they said something along the lines, yeah. Oh, let me take a look at what Monster said. Okay. I, know some people, I know some people are getting concerned about how long this has been going. I, it has been I don't disagree. Like three hours. I don't yeah, disagree. I, I... I don't disagree. This is getting longer than it should. However, I need to make some things very clear. It's now 10 o'clock and this man's sitting in a McDonald's and in Walmart. Please don't forget this. Here. And then we will close out. Rin, I understand, empathize, and sympathize with the things you have gone through in re relation to things like the FCK. I do. However, I will give you a comparison. What toys did you play with when you were a kid? Just name one. <laughs> I need that as a sound clip. <laughs> man, he, he's just got to bring it back around full circle every time. This man cannot get away from his toys. Nintendo DS. So, you have a Nintendo DS? And another person in your classroom has a Nintendo DS. Because you have a Nintendo DS, does that mean you can go mess with their Nintendo DS? No. Exactly. Just because you were a victim of these things does not mean you have carte blanche to talk about others' struggles. It does not mean you have carte blanche to make a fuss about them. Because what you did, what Akuma did, and even if we strike away all the other stuff, is you drag people's trauma out. You made a spectacle of it. You didn't even have the decency to warn them. They're okay, man. Okay, if I'm understanding this correctly, you're saying that Ren was victimized by these people, but is bad and or is as bad and or worse than these people because they did not reach out to every other victim and seek approval before putting stuff out there, even though by their own words, the victims were fine with it afterwards and... <laughs> oh my god like you have to see this you guys have to see this you're literally so before you decided to have this call about the fck stuff did you reach out to ren and say hey ren we're gonna have a call about the fck stuff can we tell your story you didn't even have to say that this whole drama was gonna be about them like come on oh i will say that lyo exploited or exploded, sorry. Ex Lyo exploded on Coyote, Coyote Lovely, I'm assuming. Uh, Coyote Lovely, that was deserved because of how Coyote was 
uh, horrible with uh, Zufael Sappho. Uh, but what he did to Rosa was his worst action. Yeah, yeah, I still agree with that. And it's just as bad as Lyo, because that person is that person too has been very shady, actually. And <laughs> big diaper fetish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Sierra, we we're we're aware we've covered that here. Um, I am not a fan of Doodles. I believe Doodles is uh, well, uh, Jim likes to call Doodles worthless or <laughs> worthless apricots. Um, as they are literally becoming hopeless peaches. Uh, they're they're stepping right up in line to that. Like hearing what Salio did to him makes me want to pull the. <laughs> oh man. I don't know how Nintendo it correlates to any of this. I honestly glazed over at that point. Uh, not gonna lie, what he did to Jax is as bad as what he did to Rosa. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So Jax, Jax was the fact that proved to me that Lyo cannot take, nor does he understand trolling online, and thinks that he is above it. Um, which, <laughs> sorry to tell you, man. It's not the case. I mean, you're not above this. By the way, I probably could just go to my normal screen. I didn't realize that. I didn't think about that until just now. Because <laughs> I'm not playing the game anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. I was trying to minimize the window. It's not going to fit. There we go. Thunder scats. <laughs> we need to vote on the names here. We, we need to decide whether we're... Thunder scat is more applicable or uh or worthless apricots. <laughs> oh man. I'm just gonna let this play out. Let's see. I'm gonna uh, I'll go back a little bit. Am I there is something very specific. Better stop talk about others' struggles. It does not mean you have carte blanche to make a fuss about them. Because what you did, what Akuma did, and even if we strike away all the other stuff, is you drag people's trauma out. You made a spectacle of it. You didn't even have a decency to warn them. There is something very specific. Crystal can attest to this. Something very specific. The Peaches told people about me. It was private. And I can promise you, when Crystal let me know that was spread out like candy, it was devastating. I'm a 38-year-old man that people seem to think is invulnerable. I broke down in that call in front of Crystal their friend and jibs over what I was told. Completely breaking down. 38. The person everyone runs to to fix their problems and be their fortress. I broke down. I can't even imagine what more vulnerable people had to do than had to deal with what you and Akumu did. It's egregious. So you want to know what you can do to atone? Never pull this stunt again. Stand by what you've been told to do. You are going to get off social media. You are going to focus on your art. And you're going to stop hanging around people who enable your nonsense. Oh. <laughs> mirror. 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 Just hold the goddamn mirror up. For once. Anything less than that just further proves you don't care. And you're not going to run around to these victims for absolution. You're going to leave them alone. Because people like that have a really soft heart. And they're going to want to comfort you. No. No more. <laughs> to be fair, I'm going to try and play through the intro and then I'll probably play actual Hogwarts Legacy at some point. Um, I feel so bad for Rosa. You may hear in her voice. She was scared and crying. Was, uh, yeah. And it's very funny about the Rosa call. The fact that Honda Sprocket was, uh, was done with Lyo in the Senate because of how long. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea, Bubba. No idea. Do you understand me? I understand. Because if I find out otherwise, I am throwing you to those other people. I will not be in that call. I will not protect you. I will not run interference. They will do as they please, with very few exceptions. And they know what those exceptions are. There are things they will not do, but they will take the things you've done. They will tear you to pieces for it. I will uh, not, but they will. Oops. You are not going to be, you will not be given solve here. If you, you <laughs> in the end it was poor cell phone service that destroyed Lyle Cotboy. <laughs> he broke up a bit there. Give me a minute. Can you hear me now? 
<laughs> you will not find your absolution here. You will not have your conscience out here. If you seek that, you can turn to the bomb of Gilead, but you will not be given it here. Mm-hmm. And with that, I think we're done. Um, I wish you the best, Rin. See if you can prove me wrong. All right. Good night. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. Yes, you? Yeah, something you? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I, I stepped out while you were talking, so I don't know if you relayed what I had sent to you in DMs. They're still here. You, you didn't send me anything in DMs. I swore I did. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. I, I mean, I can just DMs send it now. I'm here. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, d- d- uh, one thing, Fractured Light had wanted to apologize as well. He apologizes for using the hashtag. He was, a- he was unable to get me his apology in time. Um, I understand. And, uh, the other thing I forgot to clarify with you because we had mentioned it a few times. Um, that night when Lyo called you on Discord and talked to your mom, uh, uh, I found that he told me he was doing it. I didn't ask him to do it. Uh, that was not my decision. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. I understand. That. Wait, he did what again? The fuck? Wait a fucking minute. I'm just going to post the link tree thing a couple more times. I got to, like, fix all this stuff. <laughs> Even if Spone has had enough of his crap. <laughs> the guys I had to go for real to Walmart is closing. <laughs> oh, shit. I could see him at Walmart plugged into the outlet with, like, a 10-foot fucking <laughs> charging cable just pacing anxiously. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and, uh, that, that's all sorry all right you're dismissed friend have a good night who the fuck are you to sit there and say you're dismissed by the way but i'm i've got to rewind i need to hear this did he seriously call the mother is that what i heard uh, oh yes you yeah something you oh I'm not gonna lie, I, I stepped out while you were talking, so I don't know if you relayed what I had sent to you in DMs. They're still here. You, you didn't send me anything in DMs. I swore I did. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. I, I mean, I can just DMs send it now, I'm here. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, d- d- uh, one thing, Fractured Light had wanted to apologize as well. He apologizes for using the hashtag. He was, an, he was unable to get me his apology in time. Um, I understand. And, uh, the other thing I forgot to clarify with you because we had mentioned it a few times. Um, that night when Lyo called you on Discord and talked to your mom, uh, uh, I found that he told me he was doing it. I didn't ask him to do it. Uh, that was not my decision. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Uh, that, that's all. Sorry. So he thinks he's okay enough to call and speak to someone's parents. And then publicly berate them on this in front when they're in a situation where they're strongly in fear of their father and losing their place to live and everything else. Like, bro, and you're just going to sit there and spend three hours while this fucking person is in their goddamn closet. They said that they're in their fucking closet out of fear. And you're going to berate them and say all this shit and have fucking 15 goddamn people on. I'm exaggerating, but there was, let's see, we had Doodle Tones, we had Lyo, we had Yun, we had uh, um, Ephraim, which I'm skipping that completely. Um, It sounded like we had another individual, so five fucking people on at least, if not six. Oh, Crystal Flame, six. And can we talk about for a fucking second there, remember, Lyo had to pull down a fucking video that he made. Because he got all his information wrong. That video was on Crystal Flame. The way that shit came out was through a call after her. Ma'am, your kid is annoying me with their story. Make sure they don't touch other kids in Nintendo's DS. You're dismissed. (laughs) Over and out. Lyle, probably. (laughs) Oh, man. But yeah, like... This is Lyo. <laughs> this is Lyo Convoy. Brigadier General of the Texas First Chairborn Edition. <laughs> uh, signing out <laughs> from Walmart. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
the McDonald's closed three hours ago. People are looking at me. Yeah, Crystal was not harsh on Ren, and neither was Yun. Um, in fact, you know, the vast majority of this call was Yun and uh, Ren talking, and it's just incredibly, like, incredibly disheartening to hear him go through and rile up someone so fucking bad again and have no awareness about it. None. Lyle, you need to take all your own advice. Delete your accounts, log off, and go fucking touch grass. Because you're bad at this. You have no sensibility. You have no discretion. You have no tact. I mean, you, you're you literally devoid of the ability to make good judgment calls. How the fuck do you do this, man? Oh my god. Like, and I'm not even, like... This took place after i'm i'm 90 percent certain because i don't think it's been it's been more than a week since the stardust situation so uh stardust lyle let's see when this took place oh, 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 oh. two weeks ago i mean if i want to let's get a let's get a particular date so this was may 4th so on star wars day you went on or the day before depending on when this call was but you went on and you had this whole interview with Stardust and a lawyer and all this. Hey, Lyle, did you do those classes you were told about? You know, like, there's there's a lot of crap I can call you out about, man. There's a lot of stuff. You had to take down the video on Crystal Flame because you got information wrong. You, like, berated them just like you did here. And guess what? You had even less facts here. So how do we even trust anything you said, man? Yeah, Ren is... Uh, clear well clearly as they stated they just recently got out of a mental health facility and you know let's let's push somebody that just got out of a mental health facility with a call like this like that's gonna fucking really help the situation lyo again awareness any fucking aware anytime you want to start being aware of what you're doing and maybe have a little nuance to your shit would be fucking great or delete everything and log off and go touch grass like you like to tell people you're dismissed oh man but yeah they're unable to function right and it's why you can't get help like call the police yeah and i honestly think that in their mind that ren thought that you know what statute of limitations is expired this might be the best way i could do this is to do it publicly i was a victim of this stuff so i would like my information out there oh <sighs> <laughs> oh man we can't trust lyo as far as the grocery scooter can go <laughs> before it gives out <laughs> weight and dies yeah true 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 oh man lyo served in the french fry wars he looked up with the... <laughs> oh man <laughs> Oh, I, I'm going to have to title this, <laughs> this video. <laughs> oh, I hope people get it. <laughs> Lyo's Battle of Hamburger Hill. <laughs> the Oscar Mayer mobile unit. <laughs> Got two purple hearts and a clogged artery. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> One of the purple hearts was in his chest. Very true. Oh. But yeah, like, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, Leia, Leia had, uh, <laughs> Leia snapped in her video and everything. I, I've seen that Leia's covered a lot on this situation, so they're probably a lot more versed than I am. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry there wasn't much gameplay in this gameplay stream. Oh, man. But yeah, there was even another thing that I was going to go over, which was... The Doodle Tones video, I mean, uh, I don't think I'm going to go over that. It's kind of late. So, and I know this one's sufficiently long enough to, um, yeah, this one's nearly three hours itself. So, I mean, we could do that and I could throw everything together into one last, uh, one last, uh, Lyo video until he does something stupid again, but Honestly, I feel like that call defeats this whole call with uh, Stardust and the lawyer because he didn't do anything 
he didn't do anything to change positively from this call um god damn i don't know i i I think i thought lyo was gonna change i saw the i saw the discord message saying that he was gonna get in the commentary and all that you know what i still i still will stand behind the fact that he probably could do great at a commentary video uh he's obviously got the mouth to run it uh not gonna lie i was the worst type of guy wonder why his wife is considered <laughs> his wife's considered the worst after finding out about thousands at home yeah she was furious one of these days i'm gonna drag you into killing floor two. <laughs> oh <laughs> the submarine sandwich <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Oh man. All right. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to see if I've got anything else short because it's not like I got to go anywhere in the morning. I probably could tell you guys that story. So the whole reason why I'm able to stream this late right now is uh, I was laid off recently. Uh, so I don't have to go to work in the morning. Um, not really happy about it. And in fact, the whole reason behind me getting laid off was fun because it changed like three times. Uh, first, it was because I'm going through some health issues. And they were mad because I was working remote until I gave them the doctor's note that I had also given them like, oh, I don't know, a month ago that said, hey, I have to work remote because I have to go lay down and stuff once in a while because it does hurt. It's going to kill me to stand up after all of this. Um, But from there, uh, it changed into I messed something up until I told them that I don't even know how to do what they're claiming I messed up. From there, it then changed into, well, I missed something, even though it was something that other people had missed and that we had a training on. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Um, Got to go apply for freaking unemployment and crap. So, that was really fun. Um, Guess another person who's getting destroyed, too. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to scream the song from Lion King when his child is born. Yeah, I'd not even realize he'd be appropriating. <laughs> it was a faithful day. We were successful in writing Christmas form <laughs> from the center. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. Do I have anything good in here? No. Let's go to here. Stop. Shh. Oh, man. Since I didn't complete the game, I could also... Oh, I've got a video we can cover. It's not very long, but it plays into the whole pedophile hunter and everything else. And I thought this was a really good video that went really underrated. And uh, it just, uh, it called out a lot of nuance on somebody that has already been called out and successfully outed and ousted. And that would be Mama Max. Um, But uh, if you don't know, Mama Max had uh, a lot of, oh... He relied heavily or it took a lot of heavy uh, influence from a game called Hotline Miami. Well, I've got a person here called uh, 